The Asser are troubled. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Ready for part three? So, um, we managed to expand a little bit yesterday, but turns out that uh, Queek is moving in on Karak 8 Peaks. Uh, we took it off the mutinous skits, now they want to take it. So I've been thinking mostly about what to do with this one. I'm thinking what I will do is, rather than have Imric with a slightly more expensive army, come all the way up here to deal with this, I think I might get this one, since this army is honestly very easy to replace. Uh, have it come over here. Since the, the Skaven are constantly coming over here, I'll have it come over here and take Desolation of Nagash. Um, we just got to be careful because of um, possible ambushes. That's all. But their chances of ambushing us is pretty low at the moment. Just we can't be um, can't be force marching. I might even need to encamp stance through here. Yeah. Um, what I'm gonna do? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna... Okay, this one over here, I, I feel a little bit concerned about Ungrim's army here. I'm gonna, um... Assault it. Disciplining the enemy. <laughs> or not. Alright, well, we better get ready, because we're gonna have a fight over our hands over here, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna need a life wizard. What do we got? Incompetent, innovate... No, no, we don't use Hag Butcher. Leave her alone. Peaky's fine. Master of high magic. And extra ammunition goes a long way. And we just gotta recruit as quick as we can. That'll get us a full stack. So it'll be kind of a fair fight. Um, how are we going for cavalry because of all that artillery? If I really need to, I've got the dragons here. They're actually really good for emergencies. I'd, I'd love to put them in Imrek's army, but I don't think it's a good call right now. I also need to put a lord over here. I'll just get a... I think I'll get a new life wizard. Yeah, this one here. Master of high magic. Master and of try the local magic. recruit. Scar and I also think it's time to maybe get rid of this, since I'm not really going to be making use of it right now. And, and also maybe cancel that. We might end up losing the settlement. Um, I've got regiments of renown here, but no, no, I've got, I've got dragons here, but I just spent a lot of money with that. Okay, think we can get a fair bit of use out of awakening of the wood, so drop the wind to magic cost. Don't want to have to send Imric back this way. I want to um, head over to Spike Peak and uh, keep pushing down south. This will probably be an easy order resolve. Yeah. Why increase tradable resources in this Total War campaign? Uh, it's just, I was just putting points in. It do, I just need to put points. It doesn't matter what I put it into I with that hero. It's not being attached into armies. But you're absolutely right. I don't need tradable resources. It's just putting points in. Um, just Join the kingdom of dragons. Why not use the Hag Butcher? Uh, that's reducing our um, agent action cost. It, that, that character defeated Marathi, so it's reducing the agent action cost by 10% faction-wide. If that character gets killed, I lose that, so that's why that, that uh, character... Master of high magic. This one here, that's why she is um, essentially retired, because... Yeah, she's providing a global bonus to us that I don't want to lose, that I can't really get another one of anytime Magic soon. Savan, Savanara Prom did a five years. I want to say hello before going to classes. Have a good stream, guys. All right, hello, dude, and good luck with your classes. Thanks for the super chat. Okay. The dragon so, don't wait. need that. Okay. And with Imric, I'd, I think what we need to be doing is get down south here as quickly as possible because I think we're going to need to fight um, the last defenders as soon as possible. If they start sailing over to here, that's a problem. I didn't build walls here. Oh, we got this at tier 4, so we well, can get to tier 4, so that'd be good. Let me just grab an administrator. I should have one available. There we go. Master of high magic. Saves us a bit of money and time, Master which is nice. Uh, Odin the Allfather became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. And oh, 
Uh, yeah, I'd love to get that one a little bit sooner as well. Let me just see. Don't want another administrator just yet. Yeah, okay, cool. We got two shadow High ones here. Great, we'll need another one next turn. Whatever, just, just do this now. High elven arch yeah, that's what the administrators are there for. Darkhold, just go with money, because that's what I bloody need. Um, it's, it's quite a while until we get some growth. Um... I th what do we get? 100 gold or... Yeah, you know what? Go back to doing growth. That could shave a couple of turns off this. We, we still need to keep the walls out here. How is Sot optimally level? Do I bother going to, down the red-blue line tree? Uh, yeah, if you want. If you want. Uh, that's... How you optimally level up someone is based on what you want out of them. Master of Drakes. And we need to unlock new technologies first. So for this, we need the Grand Repository, which we're actually working on. So maybe, maybe don't build the, don't get rid of this yet. That's Elven Forge. Right, Ithilmar Smith. All right, yeah, still get rid of that then. Because that needs the Ithilmar Smith, the tier four version. We're not ready for that yet. All right, let's have a look. Hmm. Well, we got uh, eagles in the garrison. Let's research that. And check for new war declarations we got to make. Nope, nothing. Alright, so uh, what else we got here? Let's grab this. Uh, Odin the Old Father did a fight awesome chat. I would like to say thank you for all the great videos. You're the man, Skull Brother. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Um, glad you liked the videos. Just had Warmer Two a few months ago. Should I start transitioning to Warmer Three? It's up to you, man. I mean, I'm playing Warmer Two right now, <laughs> so that's that's up to you. You got to make that decision for yourself. I I I don't fully recommend Warhammer Three. I don't not recommend it, but I don't fully recommend it. If that makes sense. Oh, we lost all that physical resistance from the dragon encounter. Hmm. Alright, let's move on to the next turn and see how we go. I hope they don't bring in more armies. Another thing to note here is that they are at war with greenskins. Yeah, and they're ignoring us. Sorry, they're ignoring the greenskins. It's a bit annoying. Do I have two wounded heroes? I do. Two friggin' wounded heroes. Alright, moving on. Why so many archers in your armies? Because I, um, I would love to just put dragons into Imric's army. I really would, but those are the cheapest units in our roster. And oh, okay, that's I was expecting that. And so I've just got to make do with pure efficiency. It's a, this is a total war campaign. Putting fluff units in our army on very hard battle difficulty will see us struggle quite significantly. It's just not worth it. I really thought they'd besiege us. I think they blew up the settlement. I heard it get blown up. Still on Ulthwan? Uh, nope. I got kicked out of Ulthwan. Can you use your influence to make the AI factions go to war with each other? Uh, it is possible to do that, but I don't have enough influence to do that. I think he jumped down here. Yeah, I think he did. Our cause is Let's have a look. Yeah, he did. Never. Master of Heart. All right, here we go. So this is interesting. He teleported to a point where I can actually attack him. An underway battle is not great for us, but being the attacker is. Also, it's Ungrim. Not good. With purpose. Boundless wisdom. Right. Infused by Hoeth's wisdom. Bad, 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 bad. All 
Alright, uh, looking at Clan Moors again. Just need to know where they are. So they've Quick. currently got 13 regions. They've pushed the last defenders down to 5. I guess that's good. If we have a look here. They still don't know who Nagashas are. I really want to get Imric into this area here. This is where I want him to be fighting. Take on the last defenders before they get too strong. Oh, this is going to be risky. Witness my stride. I'm going to force march because I just got to get down here quickly. This is risky. Onward, it is Canada. risky. This is my Could death. get ambushed. But sometimes you got to take a risk. Heroes are immortal. But, uh, you know, losing that army sucks. Okay, so this I over here, he clearly doesn't consider us much of a threat. I think I can win this without requiring any additional units. I wield the wind. Decisive defeat. It's actually be easier for us if it was a field battle. Um, because they've... Because we're the attacker, they should... They should... Um, sit back and wait for us to launch the attack. Because they've got missile and artillery superiority. If I waste the ammunition of the grudge throwers and then the quarrelers... The only real concern in this battle is Ongrim, which is a real concern. Um, oh, then they got hammerers. Ah, oh, hammerers. Yeah. Yeah, back off for a moment. Let me just let me just see if I can get a few more troops together. Because you know th this here doesn't have enough ammunition to take on a full unit. Risk of the biscuit. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to. I'm just seeing if I can pick some more units up, that's all. Uh, I might grab one dragon. But which one? This one's unbreakable and has... Let me have a look. Primal Rage. Slows them down. Nothing. If I use this... Flaming attacks for all armies. Is that going to hurt us in this situation? Nope. No, no, um, no flame damage. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that could actually hurt us against Ungram. Alright, he's already at 30% ward save. Yeah, getting flame attacks could actually be detrimental to us. Because we have to deal with him. Alright, I'm going to pick up one of these dragons. Which one, though? I think I'll grab the... The frost one. The fire one wouldn't be good, I think. Yeah, we'll grab the... Uh, the moon dragon. Imric should be able to handle an ambush battle, right? Yeah, he should be able to, but the problem is if, if we get ambushed, his army will get wrecked. That's all. Did you know with Tomb Kings, if you load a save, Lord, it bypasses the army capacity? <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, that's, that's funny. That is funny. I'll just get that one back for now. Alright, first up, what are they doing? Alright, awesome. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's get organized. Yeah, them using up their ammunition of the grudge throwers on this is really good. Really, really good. Will the dragon come back if you disband it? Yep, it's like Regiment of Renown. They're actually really useful since they have no recruit costs. So they're great in emergencies, and since we're playing a This is Total War campaign, we're pretty much always going to have emergencies, so it's really useful in this. 
I really want to get the other two dragons. Because, like, I'm just constantly putting out fires in this campaign. Yeah, fitting given where Kalidor. You can save the red douche too, collecting red douches right now. Cool. The dragon came back if it dies, yep. Alright, let me just get a little bit more organized here. Can you explain how flaming attack works in particular? Okay, so in Warhammer 2, it works this way. Alright, if you have flame attacks and you attack something that has neither flame resistance nor flame weakness, it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, if it has flame weakness, you do more damage. If it has flame resistance, you do less damage. It's that simple. That's all it does. That's it. Now, in Warhammer 3, it's the same thing with one other stipulation. If the enemy unit is healing and you dish out flame damage, you will halve the amount of healing that they do. You don't halve their healing cap, you just slow down their healing rate. So typically speaking, using flaming attacks against dwarfs and high elves is one of the stupidest things you can do. Do not bring flaming attacks against dwarfs and high elves because they have no units in their roster that are weak against fire. And they have loads of units that are very strong against it. I guess that one of the stupidest things you can do. Okay, let me just move her back a bit, actually. Let's bring this one up. Don't want to use any healing just yet, because we might as well try to get four entities damaged. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, they're using fireballs. Must have a ruby ring of ruin. Alright, we also need to get set up over here. Let's let's start getting organized. Probably can't really make much use of the silver helms in this battle. Is there a hypothetical end to this campaign, or is it the assumption that it won't last that long? Just don't worry about that. Just enjoy it while it's here. Okay, I'll, I'll decide on that on a day-by-day -day basis. We'll see. you got to stop asking those kind of questions. Just focus on the game. People are always focusing too much on channel stuff, and... we, we, we got to put a stop to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop answering those kind of questions soon. Won't they come to you when you use magic? Yep, that's why we gotta get rid of their ammunition first. No, 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 no. Okay, no, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. If I use healing magic on myself, then they won't come at us. They go into aggressive mode if you do magic damage to them. Or range damage. If, you, if I, for example, if I waste their ammunition here and then bring in the dragon and swoop, then they'll still take a defensive position. So we could theoretically use this dragon and swoop away their entire army. In fact, that might be a great way to get rid of Ungrim. Hmm. You gave me an idea. Pick Warhammer 2? Yeah, well you can do stuff in Warhammer 3 as well. Uh, they'll shoot at the eagle. Enough for him. Let him come back over here. We don't have a lot of magic reserve. So I gotta make it all count. Where is the swooping captain coming? No, 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 no. We don't need to do that. Getting rid of their ammunition here has already lost them so much bounce and power. Dragon swoop or eagle swoop? Oh, uh, no, if I'm gonna go after, um... Ungrim, I better use the dragon. 
Eagle swooping. Uh, you can do it. Eagles are good with swooping, but uh, you know they're, they're lacking in armor piercing damage compared to dragons. Dragons are actually very easy to swoop with. Okay, what am I doing? Alright, that's it. Alright, dragon, get over here. And let's just see if we can swoop an Ungram for a bit, because he's clearly going to be the biggest problem in this battle. If we can knock him out, that'd just be awesome. Will I try Victoria 3 New Paradox game? Probably not, no. I've sort of just not really been that interested in New Paradox games lately. I'm sure they're good, I just don't have time. There we go. See if we can do it. Alright. I think I think he just resisted that. It's not that that... Uh, we'll just see. Oh, we got him! Get swooped, you bitch! How much damage did we do? 300. Honestly, against Ungram, that's pretty good. As Petronio hold up a woman three. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're very strong. They just sit here. It's working. Seems like he hits only about half of those attacks, but still. The fact that we've already done 500 damage done to Ungrim, that's pretty good. I missed that time as well. Taking out Ungrim is a big deal. He's by far the strongest unit in this army. Hmm. Actually working. If you land, your dragon be gone very risky. It is very risky, yeah. You're absolutely right. But sometimes you gotta risk. At the same time, we've already done a thousand damage to him. This is really good, because yeah, Ungrim is worth way more than the dragon. We take out Ungrim, the rest of this battle will be easy. Yeah, we're doing damage. Uh, Salak O did a final super shit. Is swooping still viable in Wormit 3 with the landing timer mechanic? Nah, not really. I haven't been able to successfully get swooping going. Uh, maybe I need more practice with it, but I just can't make it work. So far. It's mechanically different. They, do, they just don't really swoop. It's working. It is working. Like, Ungram's already lost a third of his health. But yeah, every... it's uh, t It takes a few tries. Probably a bit tired now, but just keep it up anyway. Yeah, it's, it's still hitting. Just got another hit in there. Another 300 damage. So I'm ready to kill Ungram. Hey, it's working. It's working. We are trading really well here, and they are just letting us doing it. Good. 2,000 damage all on Ungram. Down to nearly half health.
Can this technique work on Malice Dark Blade? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. What's the haste, Rini? How's it going, dude? Yeah, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Oh, jeez, I nearly landed there. Good, more damage done. He's down to about half. Yep. 3,000 health more. How is Ongrim? Um, oh, right, he's got the fireballs. I was wondering how he dished out damage. He's down to half health now. Okay. I have to do this for the entire. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, we're good, we're good. Yeah, that's why you gotta do it on one speed, not three speed. I'm gonna try to get on three speed. I wanna see if I can do this quickly. Get my reflexes up. Oh yeah, I'm still kind of managing. I'm getting hits in. I am getting hits in. No damage done to us that time. So I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, it's working. It's still working. <laughs> See ya, Ungrim. So the reason why we're charging in from his rear is to drop his melee defense down to zero. As much as possible. Getting rid of him this easy. Well, it's not necessarily easy, but getting rid of him this early is um, a big deal for this battle. Yeah, a couple more hits. Good, just changed music. Yeah, because he's, he's worth the vast majority of the balance of power here. And he has to be taken down because he's unbreakable. We've got no choice in the matter. If we want to win this, he has to die. And this is the only unit that even stands a chance of dishing out damage to him. Oh, nice! He's gone. Alright, let's now try to get rid of the Iron Breaker ammo by making them shoot at us. You know, whenever you're ready. There we go. Oof, iron breakers. Come on, like, fucking stop signs. Come on, move, 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 move. Just trying to get them to use up their ammo, but they just don't seem want to want to do it that much. Alright, go back over here. Uh, let's get some healing on. Uh, move you, meet you halfway. And then we'll put down some frost breaths and uh, just get this battle going and over with. But yeah, I think we've done enough to, to win this. We don't need to cheese it any further. Let me just heal first. This is why I went life magic. The swooping grudge. 
Yeah, well, it's, it's a total war campaign. Yeah, what, what are you gonna do? All right, let's get over there and sort this out. All right, I think we should use the the frost press on the the hammerers, not the iron breakers, because honestly, I don't think the iron breakers are that much of a concern. Oops. But I am pretty concerned about the damage dealing from the hammerers. And then just swoop a bit until... Until they get here. But yeah, I still really want to get rid of the ammunition of the iron breakers. Did I intercept him or is this an underway battle? I did not intercept them, this is just an underway battle. So they don't get completely wiped out if we win. Eighteen thousand damage on the dragon so far. It's good. All right, I want the eagle to go around the back here and try to get some of the units to uh, to run after it. Good. I think I've saved this last dragon breath for a stationary clump. Looks good. All right, here we go. Here's our opportunity. You getting bullied? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's only part of the garrison anyway. You come around the flank here and start running down the one that uh, is trying to leave. Will you ever play multiplayer battles on stream? Nulti players? I don't know, man. No, I'm sure, I know you mean multiplayers. Look, I can give you an absolute 100% guarantee in regard to that answer. The answer is no. It'll never happen. Now, they're not wiped out just because we've won the battle, so we should try to run down as many of them as possible. Hopefully, High Elves are quite a bit faster than Dwarfs. 
But because it's a uh, underway battle, they can leave pretty easily. Because, yeah, we're only going to have these guys and the dragon to fight in the next battle. To get rid of them. So you better get rid of as many of them as we can. Loving Seagard. For the Ever Queen. Illyrian Archers. Yeah, kill that many. For our ancestors. Our clans will shun us. For the king. Indra. Ross, mark this day in the book. Loyal, Asa, advance. All right. Well, there we go. I think the dragon. Made all the difference there. Getting rid of Ongrum was just so good. Alright, we're done here. Nice. Is the High Elves Cavalry decent? They're decent, they're just not their best units. But yeah, their Cavalry is, is actually okay. What is it? Faster than dwarfs? Uh, probably Nurgle. Yeah, which don't exist here. I'll take the money. Perhaps their master All right, we're probably gonna have to fight that again manually. There I must go. Good. We stole his ruby ring of ruin. Nice. I'll fuse that into. Oh, <laughs> can't fuse it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Master of high magic. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Well, more ammunition will help. And we do still have the dragon, so let's see here. Come on, auto-resolve. I doubt it. I doubt it. But, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I figured. It's dwarfs, and we didn't get rid of their iron breakers, so, you know, that's what's going to happen. Is there a doomstack army for Imric? Yes, it's dragon spam. I really, really would love to give him a dragon spam army. But getting dragons, you need to be at least rank 4. With, uh, sorry, tier 4 buildings, with it, which we've only just achieved. But ideally... Um, we need, uh, tier 5, which we are a long way off. Uh, but yes, he does have a Doomstack, but I feel like in this campaign here, rushing that Doomstack is one of the worst decisions that we can make. So once again, I feel like we're gonna need to... Waste a bit of ammo. Shit, she's really close. At least this time we only need to get the army losses. And yeah, focus on using those dragon breaths on the iron breakers. Next stream, please, out of an Indu pool. That is. Um, what am I drinking? Um, it's, an, it's just an energy drink. All right. Because yeah, the even though there's not much ammo, not many um, artillery left, they could still do quite a number on our. Um, on our archers here, and considering there's iron breakers, yeah, these archers here are not really ideal for dealing with iron breakers, but it's what we, it's what we got. We have to just go deal with it. Which video series do you enjoy the most making? Um, hmm, depends. I I like all the videos that I do, video series that I do. Um, I do enjoy a good saving disaster battle, but sometimes I don't enjoy the, the s disaster battles that I get. It just depends on the army that I've got and also what I'm going up against. So, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I don't. It's just luck of the draw, really. 
He's trying to say stream from my pool, a hot tub stream. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have even read that out. What a stupid thing to say. Oh, I think it only partially did it as well. Not going to bother wasting ammo of the, um, Coralers. Not this time. Okay, at least they're on their way now. Why don't you do disaster campaign anymore? I haven't received a good disaster campaign in a really long time. So I'll give you an example. Somebody's, um, I did have a disaster campaign sent in today, but it was not worth. It wasn't. It wouldn't make a good video. It just wasn't a disaster campaign. I can only cover what you guys send me, and lately, like I'll be honest with you guys. Yesterday I received no new disaster battles. Okay. Sometimes I just don't receive good good emails. Now I'm sure somewhere in my email inbox there is really good disaster campaign just sitting there dormant, right? But this is this is kind of what happens. During times of new DLCs, I get flooded with um, disaster battles, right? And Or disaster campaigns. And I just don't have the time to get through all of them. And sometimes I just miss the good ones. It sucks, but I just don't have the physical capabilities to, to answer that many fucking emails. And then we enter slow times, and then I end up going through those reserves to find them. But... Um, at the end of the day, um, I can't control what gets sent in to me. Um, people will send in disaster battles that are auto-resolve wins. Uh, people will send in disaster battles that are 100% impossible. People will send in disaster campaigns that are um, amazing, but I'll miss them. So it's just luck of what I get in, the, in my inbox. But yeah, I'm more than happy to cover disaster campaigns. I just, I just don't see them very often. Like, I'd love it if every single disaster... If I could get, like, a, a really good disaster campaign every single day. But it's just uh, it's just not feasible. I just don't get s sent in that stuff. I I do see sometimes people like, Oh, all you do is make disaster battle videos. I'm, uh, sorry, um, uh, Doomstack videos. Man, those are the most common emails that I get sent in. People are not sending in good disaster battles. You know, it's like, do you guys want me to cover... Um, disaster battles that are siege battles, like just minor city siege defenses with just garrison forces defending against like a full stack. I don't think that's what you want. So I'm not going to make videos on that. I rely extremely heavily on you guys sending in save files. Um, and sometimes I just don't get the save files that I want. I gotta make do with what I can. I get that can be frustrating, but uh, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. It's just the nature of when you're doing community content. Sometimes it's going to be good, and sometimes it isn't. And you just got to take the good with the bad and just try to make do. Do you accept only Wormer 3 campaign battles or Wormer 2 also possible? Mm. Honestly, the videos for Wormer 3 are still doing pretty well. Um, I'm not opposed to people sending in Warhammer 2 stuff still. Uh, but the videos for Warhammer 3 are still doing pretty well, so I'm pretty happy to just focus on that. But I'm not opposed to it. I'm trying to be flexible. There we go. Alright, we don't need to bother about healing, because this will be disbanded. I'm liking Dimstack videos, bunch of interesting creative Dimstacks out there. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the videos are doing just fine. I got no complaints about, um, about, you know, the stuff that's being sent in. But I, I do get complaints from people saying they want to see, you know, more disaster campaigns or more disaster battles. And that's fine. But if you're not sending stuff in, I can't make that stuff. I can't, I just can't do it. Do you have instructions anywhere to send safe files to you? Yeah, in the description of every single video. <laughs> maybe I need to... Maybe the next time I do a disaster battle, I'll have to remind people how to send in a disaster save file, even though the instructions are right there. Did we get a helmet of Discord? Nice. They may live, 
for a price. Just uh, how it is. All right, cool. I, I can't afford to keep this army in. There's not going to be any more forces coming Master down here for a while, so. High magic. Thank you for your assist. Our traditions give me strength. All right, now we need this one to keep doing hero We're actions. Right. To um. To keep leveling up. So, because when we tried to assault that other army, he failed. And every level up that we get will be worth one extra percentage success chance. Yeah, that's risky. Alright. Master of high magic. Alright, so we can see over here, Black Crag's about to come under attack. This is where we're going to need those other two dragons. Don't you dare get yourself killed, but... Here we go. <laughs> uh, but they'll make a big difference. They'll make a big difference here. Kind of attrition with the uh, oh, It's a bit of a risk. Just, just regular stance. Carried it. by magic. Yeah. So I think we'll do is alternate between regular stance and encamp stance. I really don't want to force march. Not when we're marching on Skaven territory here. Any regional raiding? No. I mean, they could be standing over here for all we know, but that's why we're leaving all the walls here. Alright, I got an idea. Build this. So that we research this one here. But if we research the salt one, that gives us 10 extra growth and income from ports, which would be quite handy. But then just get rid of the salt. So that's Spite Peak, I think, just build defenses. It's probably going to come under... Oh. There's going to be a revolt here. True son of Shit. That buys me an extra turn. Right, because I got characters in here doing that stuff. Uh, my emollient character should be coming back right about now. What are you, what are you doing? Of high magic. High magic. I wield the winds. There. I missed mean, a super chat? Sorry. Uh, let's have a look. Imperial Devastated, 10 super chat. Hey, Legion. Been loving the streams lately. I put together furniture by hand for my job, and I've been listening to your streams while I work. Uh, work is early, but your streams help the day pass so much. Uh, no, super, my pleasure. Um, what was that for help? Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Sorry, I missed it initially. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Hmm. I've got another Emollient character who should be coming back next turn. But I'm fairly sure he'll come back over here. We are Ill oh man, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I can't justify recruiting another army. I just can't. It'll put me too much into the negative. Bleed out my ass in terms of money. Master of high magic. 
Because, yeah, I need to get this stuff here done. Growth here is coming along really nicely. That's good. Okay, and yep, you've been very helpful there, Administrator. Thank you very much. Uh, 1,000... Uh, hmm... Oh, what a pickle there. What a pickle there. Game 3 public order is a lot better. It's actually exactly the same. There's no difference. So, how do you figure that game 3 public order is better? Depends on what faction you're playing. If you're playing um, Ice Court, for example, you're not going to have revolts. Um, in terms of corruption, it does provide less penalties. But I don't know how you figure that Warhammer 3 corrupt, um, public order is better. It's exactly orders. the same. Alright, what if you got a couple of public order followers? So that is worth 6 public order there. Which is not enough to stop the next revolt. The we have to... Oh my god, we need... We need so much public order to be fixed. I have no idea how we're going to get through that. Uh, could send Imric back, but I really need him over here. And at the end of the day, Karakazul is not really that important. However, it'll bring back the faction of Karakazul, which I really don't want. So I think we're just going to have to put up with that for the time being. Um, no point recruiting anything here, because this will besiege it. We'll just do the best we can there. Alright, here we go. Uh, are you still... Okay, you need to go secure some more influence. I don't think I'll bother sending him back. I'll, I'll put the, I'll leave these on here, but uh, I don't think I'll bother sending him back. Um, we'll have to recruit a new army here next turn. So... Just gotta get through these next few turns, I guess. Let's move on. Aren't you able to recruit Emollient Mage? No, Emollient is only for um, nobles. These guys here leaving the province will help public order. Yeah, look at that. Karakazul. Change the commandment, Karakazul. Uh, the High Elves don't have a Public Order Commandment. Wouldn't have made any difference. I was born to commune with dragons, not lesser people. I just realized, I didn't, did I not check this? We're good, we're good. I gotta remember to check. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I need a break from these guys. I need a break. Oh my god. Noble son of Ulthuan. The enemy must be punished. Oh my god, even at 82%, he still failed. Come on, man. Uh, that army's not as dangerous by a lot. But I'm not going to get access to that dragon. Jeez. Okay, so we're definitely going to... Oh, it's not as bad this time. It's not as bad. Oh, did I... Oh, that's because the emollient dude came back here. If you just come back here... Okay, we actually maintained public order. Nice. This guy's got to stay here, though. If you put that on, we can actually tax it next turn. But then again... Wasn't somebody raiding Karak Azul? Oh, fuck me. I think he jumped over that way. Right, I need you to have a look. I know the way. Moving out. Alright, that garbage army came from over here. Okay, that means that they're probably in the clear. To, okay, I said this turn we would go into uh, encamp stance. I know my destination. 
to recover. Well, we didn't get ambushed, so that's great. Yeah, um, this one here will probably not be that much of a concern, unless it goes to Mount Greyhag. That's the only way it, way it would be a concern. Crown Prince. Alright. They will know Kalidor's name. Just conquering everything that we can on the way here. Alright, I have no intention of keeping Misty Mountain. Um, I think what we do here is loot and occupy it. Because I'm just, I'm just passing through. If they want to come over here and reclaim it, I'm not really too concerned. So, yeah, just demolish that. Because I'm trying to get down here to fight the last defenders. That's where I'm trying to send Imric. Want that delicious croc guard True trait. Magic. That's not why I'm going there, but speak your mind. Help. Noble Lord. Okay, now we've got to lift some of these damn sieges. Hi, Let's Elvin start with this one. Mage. See if it's even possible. Sometimes the game just gives you a good order resolve. Nice! Thank you very much. Their lives for I guess those dragons really helped with it. That's good. That's good. And any chance Master that you can Mage. assist against Queek? No, you won't have enough movement. Alright, let me have a look at this. Valiant Defeat. Mm, problem here is that we don't have any fast units to go and take out the Ikat Zap. But we're not up against a lot of dangerous units. It's just clan rats. I should actually be able to handle it. You mostly hang on, how many minutes below? One plus. I can't remember how many um, Queek Another has. It used to be two, and then they changed it to four. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, quite a few minutes below. He'll have. Hmm. Master of magic. That's a garbage army from Quake. Yeah, it, it really is. Alright, don't just ban this one just yet, because if we win here and push him back, then we can reinforce with this one, and then that'll definitely win it quite easily. Um, let me just have a quick check here. Yeah, he didn't end up ruined dwelling that. You can waste the RD ammo since they outrange you. Uh, normally, yes, you're right. There is an exception. When you go up against uh, Skaven and they use Menace Below, for some reason, as soon as they use a Menace Below, they start charging at you. And when dealing with Queek, he always has Menace Below, so you're, under normal circumstances, you'd be right. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sally out here, because at the end of the day, even if he does get me with a whole bunch of his abilities, we should still be okay, because we do have a good army. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Found and defeats, cave and slaves. Uh, that's clan rats. They have tons of experience. It's a legendary lord, and they outnumber us. Plus, I gotta get reinforcements in. Loyal. All right. Since I'm gonna have such a hard time being able to get at um, the artillery, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fucking bloody Ronald. Don't have much reserves out here anyway. Every shot that we can waste of this could save elven lives. No, we'll definitely save elven lives, because yeah, I just can't really deal with it otherwise. Hitting her, but she can heal at least. Loven 
at Seagar. Advance! Asturian guides up. March! Forward! Loyal! And who have they? As he say. And there's that one. Don't shoot at it though. Charge into it, it'll likely break really early. Good, it broke. It shall be done. For the Ever Queen. Alright, they haven't started advancing on us just yet, so that's good. Hold off on that. Destiny sends me. It is fated. Carried by the winds. A prudent position. I am sent. The terrain isn't really helping out too much. Yep, yeah, another one. Ch charge into it. Don't shoot it. Don't waste ammunition. On a summon. Time they put in a summon. I have to friggin' reform up. So that's two dealt with. That's good. Because, yeah, the last thing you want is for the menace below to be coming down while they're advancing on us because they're so destructive. So if we can get rid of them nice and early. Oh, they hit their own unit. Oh, I don't look like they hit their own unit. Not necessarily trying to waste the ammunition of the Skaven Slaves here, but that's just what they're doing. It is my goal. The winds flow through me. I am sent. Take arms. See, I want to be in range of the artillery, so it will shoot at me. Fucking hill is in the way. Is that another one? Yep, another one coming down, another one coming down. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're coming in over here. Hang on, if I. God damn, we're in a mess. Okay. Oh, artillery coming in down here, pissing me off. Yeah, they're they're trying to get at us over here. All right, try to move over this way a little bit more. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, God. Shit. Knew this fucking unit's gonna be a problem. Alright. Change of plans. Change of plans. Rush at it. Rush at it. We'll kill it. Rather than uh, waste its ammunition, we'll actually kill it. You get in over here. Yeah, it's gonna do some damage to us. We can't stop that. But what I can do is kill it. I know I can heal, but we don't have much winds of magic. Goddamn, she's taking the beating. At least those Skaven slaves are dealt with. Come on, just gotta get within range and we can shoot the shit out of it. It's gonna hurt. Why don't you dodge it? Come on, man. Yes. <laughs> I just can't deal with it. Come on, come on. We gotta move, 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 move. Why didn't you 
Look who the Yukon Bolt Brothers! Alright, come on, come on, come on. Right, we're just about in range. Alright, shoot it. This is gonna cause their army to start coming at us. But getting rid of the Ikid Zap Zap, that's worth it more than any of our archers. Alright, now they come at us. Now make sure you wipe that fucking unit out. I don't want to deal with it next time. Although next time we'll have dragons. So maybe don't worry about it too much. Alright, we got to get organized. Because we are currently not. Alright, set up here. Alright, at least we got rid of that fucking unit. So that's great. And over here... They're still not advancing on us. That's interesting. I am sent without hesitation. Use this opportunity to maybe heal a bit. Keep generating magic. This is fine. All right, time to fire at will. Shit, if they're just going to come at us one at a time, then this will be easy. Okay, maybe move up a little bit more so that others can shoot. Alright, here they come, here they come. What's great about this army here is that very few of their units actually have shields. I'm gonna try to get those times so they're happening at the same time. With those two. Watch out for the heroes. Just wants to get too much damage, get her out of there. Oh, Quick's going for it. Get her out. Oh, it looked like Quick was going for her. Is that a Okay, get, get him out. Chieftain's there. Uh, she may die, but she's a nobody, so not, not that big of a deal. Try to get around, but if you can't, that chieftain's on my ass. Don't shoot it quick, it's a waste of ammo. It's too armored. Shoot at the unarmored garbage. Come on, you can do it, girl, you can do it. That dude doesn't matter, you do matter. Come on, move, 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 move. I don't have to recruit new lords all the time. Alright, this formation's worked out really well. They're all clumped up on bad spots. Really, really good there. No knowledgeable for the high elves. Just try to draw away their single entities this way. Hopefully they follow us. Charging to try to get some morale. Just keep trying to shoot the army. Don't worry about the... enemy lords, we just can't really do that much damage to them. Okay, what I say? Stop trying to go for that. Go after the uh, these guys here. Uh, Samuel Quack became a member for 16 months. Much love, legend. Ah, uh, thanks, dude. Much love back as well. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. Doesn't help that these fucking rats fight for the damn death. Master of sorcery. 
Robin Seagar. Asher and Fox. Right, most of the enemy army is gone. Still haven't inflicted the army losses though. There we go, we won. Cool. And then while they're on the appro uh, while they're on the retreat, try to get rid of Quick specifically, so that it doesn't get any experience for it. Because we're going to be able to finish off the uh, rest of this army, no problem, I think. I don't think we've got enough ammunition to get Quick, and he's quick, so I won't be able to get rid of him. Uh, catch up to my man. Well, that was a bit of a pain to begin with, but I think that went pretty well, and we've saved the city for now. For now. Would I stream Dark Tide? I'm not opposed to it, I just have not made plans for it at this stage. Oh, excuse me. The dragons will take care of him? Yeah, they should be able to. Alright, give me that money. Release us at once. Hi, right. Elvin yeah, no problem. Bring it in over here. Master of magic. Yep. Alright, and then both Master of these armies of will be disbanded. Magic. Good. They may live for a price. How much damage did the artillery do? It did a fair bit. About 150 kills. But, you know, massive long range artillery. I, I couldn't not take damage from it. But uh, anyway, it's, it's dealt with now. Everything worked out. And they all just get disbanded anyway because... I can't afford them anymore. Okay. So it'll be ten, nine and ten turns before the... Uh, the dragons come back again, and we can see that, yet again, more fucking dwarfs are on the way, so we need to prepare for that, again. I really don't want to put the incompetent in there, because of the... Let me look here. This area here is already low on winds. What about that metal wizard? Yeah, I've already recruited this one. Okay, come back in here. Master of high magic. Need some more global recruit slots. Uh, at least that army is not as tough as Ungrim's was, so we should be able to handle it. The only problem here is that we have not fully recovered at Mount Silverspear. Regiments of Renown. Alright, we got one back, so that's something. All right. And I'm not overly concerned about that because it's garbage. And this one over here, it might go for Spike Peak if it does. There's a few, there'll be a few defenses there, but not, not tons. You're a beast, mate. Ah, um, I'm assuming that's a compliment. Thank you. Alright, and then, yeah. So yeah, now Imrik needs to swing around over here and head towards Lamia. Gems aren't worth anything to us. Apart from the tech, which is actually pretty good. Oh yeah, we just need to get over there. I think what I'll do with this one, capture Desolation of Nagash and then sail down here. And they'll and have her assist with uh, Imrik in conquering... Um, uh, Krokgar, since we're using trash for the most part. As much as I'd love to spam some dragons. Just not at that stage yet. I know that's a ruin. Alright, any new enemies we have to declare war on? Nope, all good. You doing any videos for Orktober? Mmm, I, I have nothing planned at this stage. I, typically speaking, don't like meme months. But we'll see. Good, that one shaved off about three turns of it, because it would have been at 14 turns this turn, so that's good. Uh, we got a bit of money at the moment, so if we could shave even just one additional turn off, that'd be good. Uh, 
that you know, we've been managing to defend this one so far, so let's keep that up. Uh, Casey did a ten dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Uh, Misty Mountains, don't bother. We're gonna lose that, probably. Uh, this is should be fine. We are ill at ease. I have another idea. I'll build this here and start building this one here because that'll take a few turns. Now, obviously, we don't need the salt, but the point of it is to research um, sea uh, preserved seafood, which will help us out a little bit with a global bonus. Uh, still don't need uh, any of this, I think. Actually, I might pop that down next turn, because then I don't take attrition while coming through here. I don't need to keep encamping. Yeah. Alright, I think that's all I can do this turn, and let's move on. Uh, how long until we start getting some heroes? Alright, next turn we unlock... We, we unlock the, um... The handmaidens. It'll take them a while to get over here. Um, Fecund, resistant, or entrepreneur will all be useful. Our current richest province is the Dragon Isles, so that's where we would put entrepreneurs if if it shows up. Gems give you major recruit rank faction wide, so they're nice to have. Yes, yes, eventually, yes, but in the early parts of this campaign here, right now, no. <laughs> Fuck yes. Bye-bye. Oh, man. Nice. You gotta love it when you intercept them like that. Great. I'll take that. Good. I don't really care what it does over here. I don't want it messing us around over there. Just realize Imrig's vault doesn't generate an item. Has it been like that all this time? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's always been like that. Doesn't generate items. Wait, no. It does generate an item. We did get an item before. Is that in Warhammer 3 that it doesn't generate an item? I don't know. I haven't played in Rick in Warhammer 3. I have no intention of doing so either. Ah, oh, damn it. Do you take me for a wazik? Master of They're a little bit more cautious this time. They didn't jump right in front of us. What do you require? Well, I just gotta assume that they're going to go after that. I am ready. that going Smash it to oh my god no way. didn't I just fucking kill you oh yeah wound, wound recovery time minus one <laughs> we are pure of oh the dwarfs are at war with these guys aren't they Welcome yeah they are they're just ignoring them man this is a serious anti-player bias here god damn it all right, well, uh, if we manage to win against this, then don't bloody disband it. I just need more fucking troops. All right, let's see. We can now recruit Sisters of Avalon, but I don't think that's the way to go. No, not resilient. We're looking for resistant. So we've got access to two. What about mages? Right, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um... It's good that we wiped out that army. I feel a little bit more confident to just like rush through here. If we have a look at their strength ranking, they, they've definitely got armies out here somewhere. So I gotta be careful. Be right, I'm gonna pop down the Invocation of Isha because I just kind of feel like we're gonna need this stuff right now. Hi, Elvin Archmage. And this way we're not taking attrition here.
Good, we're actually maintaining public order. We can tax this again. Speak your mind. Setting the pace. Noble son of Ulthuin. Valiant. Disciplining. Good, that was more just about getting experience than anything else there. Alright, since we do have access to a regiment of renown, if they besiege a settlement, we won't be able to get it, so let's do that now. Our cause is mm. Okay. And yeah, with Imrik, we're heading towards Lamia. Why not jump in the yonder way? Alright, bit of a risk, but... Imric's strong. Make haste, we gotta get over here quickly. So, strike. I could get ambushed. It might happen. You know, sometimes you gotta risk things. We, we just gotta move. Defense building worthwhile. Uh, I've already built it. I've already built it. Um, I will build it at Mount Greyhag as well. Since it is our frontline province. I wanna lock it down. I think I got an administrator of the might be available. Let me just check. Light wizard, no. Um, where is it? Okay, I might not actually have a administrator ready to go. The people arrested. It's not an amazing return on investment, but do that anyway. It's relatively safe. Noble no, you fail, failed. So I don't really mind too much if it comes down here and attacks Bite Peak. Don't mind that much. What about crossing the sea to get to their capital from behind? What, to Krokgar? Um, no, I don't think so. Well, I'm not, I'm not there anyway. So, looking at handmaidens, we've got a fair bit of influence. One thing that we could do is recruit and disband handmaidens to try to get the um, entrepreneur trait or the resistant, resilient trait, not, uh, no, sorry, resistant, not resilient, but we're not exactly rolling around in influence just yet, so maybe just chill. Um, don't recruit one for the sake of it, but let's just chill and see... How we go for the next few turns. Don't worry about Misty Mountain. Let that get recaptured by whoever. Alright, and let's just move on. So at the moment, my biggest concern is over here. I kind of wish I didn't disband that other dragon. I just didn't think that they would send this much at us. A few turns ago, they were nearly dead. Now, funny thing here is that they do actually want peace, but due to the stipulations of this campaign, I can't do that. But look at this shit, they're just ignoring the bloody, um, uh, the red eye. I, will not I, I do think we're in a bit of trouble over here, because if he comes over here... Like, that's not an amazing army, but both of them together, that would be a problem. Another thing that we could do, actually... I could stand here, right... They'll probably attack me. Our cause is and we no that way we get the battle done now. But that means I have to fight the Because if he besieges me, I won't be able to recruit anything. And I feel like Ungram's on the way. I think I'm going to have to do that. Infused Insane in camp stance. Wisdom. We can get ogres. Yeah, get ogres later. Alright, we'll see how we go with that. I'm fairly confident if they launch the attack with this, we should be okay. Because it will be a field battle, which gives us the advantage. And it's only long beard, it's not that big of a deal. I'm fairly sure we'll be okay. Problem here, though. Yeah, we haven't fully recovered. I'm not that badly damaged, though. So. Okay. I just need to get that over and done with as quickly as possible. And recruit more troops. Alright, let's move on. Yep. Yep. You're able to recruit an administrator that you missed him. 
I was able to recruit an admin. Uh, sorry, I was able to recruit a new administrator. I didn't want to waste any more influence. Characters are revolt. No, we're good. To feel awe is only natural in the presence of the dragon. Can't do that, sorry. When they offer a peace treaty, I can't really see. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. They don't want to occupy it. Alright, I figured that they would do that. Now, it's definitely better for us to be the attacker, but Valiant Defeat against Dwarfs with huge auto resolve bonuses, um, we outnumber them, we should be okay. The main thing here is to take the fast units and just try to try to get at those artillery. Um, if we can manage that, then everything else here shouldn't be a problem, because we can outrange everything else. Check war declaration, think you missed someone. I did check, I did check. It's too late now, the game's saved. I thought I'd, I'd... I'm pretty sure I checked. It will be done! I have a question. Do you only use your influence to confederate and why you don't want to waste it? Well, no, you don't use it for confederations. Uh, only for confederations. You also use it to hire good lords and heroes. You could very, very quickly spend it all. Oh yeah, freaking metal wizard. That's okay. Noble. Look, they, they're sprouting from the ground. I thought I thought they were the dwarfs here. The That's it. Shoot at me. Shoot at me. Okay, this is super disorganized here. Really disorganized. Try to tidy this up a little bit more. Be good. Just stay hidden there for a moment. Gotta time it just right, I think. Oh, they can see us. No, wait, yeah, just whatever. Just go around. Go around. Gotta get to those artillery. Asurian sends me. Seeking fate. I will not tarry. The vortex commands. Try to spread out a little bit, because those artillery are coming in. Asur Since they're taking extra damage. Coming in. I sally oh, shit. Forth. Right, move it. Asurian sends me. Led by Hoak. Good, we got to their artillery. That's a big deal there. And unfortunately, I think this one got stun locked. Come on, come on, you gotta get out of there. She was able to provide enough of a distraction, I just don't want her getting killed. It's not the end of the world if she does, only Metal Wizard. Come on, move, 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 move. Good, taking out those artillery there. That's a big deal. Come on, move. Got him stuck. Okay, that's it. 
shots. That went okay. In fact, you come over here, help us out a little bit. Okay, just run back here because we're getting shot. She might actually end up dead. But what we're gonna do? She just got completely stuck. I tried to get her out. Yeah, they, one more hit. She's gone. She's gone off. Oh well. That happens. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Not the end of the world. Like I said, only a metal wizard. And she did some damage to them. And provided a very useful distraction. I hope that doesn't disqualify us from recruiting, though. Shouldn't. Should have gotten a life wizard. I was running out of them. Okay, don't shoot at the Lord. That's a waste. Alright, we got two Coralers coming in over here. Just go charge in at them with the cavalry. We should be fine. Even with the Illyrian Reaver archers. Actually, you. Get over there. Go and help them out a little bit. We will obey. Ancestors. Battle call. Assyrian guides us. Swiftly! Make old one proud! Asa, move! A pace! Move! As you say, Good. That's going fine there. Actually, go back. This is all working out fine. Just come back over here. Orders received! Good, the cavalry seemed like they whacked all that. Just need to get rid of the last callers. Okay, these ones here need to move up. Shoot at these ones at the back here. Because they're the ones doing all the damage to us. Ah, oh, I can't shoot the them. Legend has lines of Christ in his army. It's a garrison. I'd never willingly recruit White Lions of Grace. Are you crazy? <laughs> this garrison. Probably in our best interest not to wipe this guy out, or else they're just going to get a new one, since we should be able to pursue and finish him off next turn anyway. Kill their lord. Glory. 
Let him go. Alright, we should have done a sufficient amount of damage that we'll be able to pursue and finish them off. The only concern I have um, is, are we actually going to finish our recruiting? Because this happens to me so very rarely that I'm actually not sure whether or not our units will get recruited because our lord got killed. Have you tried Eagle Spans with a Life Mage for early game hiles? It's surprisingly good. Um, I haven't tried that. I feel like you don't need to do that, and it's a little bit on the expensive side, because Eagles are more expensive than Archers. But yeah, I would imagine that it would be fairly good for early game army. Remove their bombs. And now we just got to find out what happens here. Well, then again, Ungram's not rushing down here just yet. So we got a bit more time. So that's good. Nah, he's on his way though. He's coming. Okay, the units got recruited. Alright, so that was fine. Uh, I'll recruit the incompetent one. The yeah, get that life wizard up there. Oh, well, you just lost our uh, metal wizard. No great loss there, I guess. Problem with incompetent ones, you know, we lose 10% of our income in the, in the province, but it's only a temporary army. And we should already be in a good enough shape to be able to uh, deal with Ungrim when he comes down here. If he comes down here. They cannot withstand high magic. They can serve the tower. Scholar Supreme. Never. Yeah, always need more ammo. I mean, Dwell's Below would be good as well, but, you know, it takes ages to get to that. So, make use of what we need right away. Okay, yeah, that army is not really a big concern. We didn't get caught, so that's good. Same thing over here, keep making your way over this way. Looking at Skaven. Yeah, we're stronger than them at the moment. What's our strength ranking? 18. Eh, given the situation, that's not too bad. Mm, I have to force march again or I won't make it there next turn. Onward for uh, it's always a risk doing this, but we gotta rush at them. Uh, I just have to hope we don't get caught. Their armies are quite beat up, so that's why I'm risking it. And plus, they got territory all over the place, so who knows where their army is. But... They could have Queek standing right over here. He could be back already with a fucking Doomstack that just just gets us. It could happen. If it happens, it happens. Magic's unleashed. Sometimes you got to take risks, especially in no, this Total War campaigns. All right, now as for Ungrim, no. it would be good if no, this guy no. here could finally succeed at assaulting his units. The enemy. Oh, you fuck. Public order over here is now at plus six. If this guy leaves the area, it's still stable. I need this guy to be gaining levels and influences. This one here has got... Oh, no, only one more turn left. Forward at once. 
The enemy must be punished. Yeah, I need this one to be gaining influence for us. Alright, did we get anything interesting here? Let's have a look. Alright, nothing particularly interesting in the nobles. We got more capacity for them, but just uh, nothing worth recruiting here. Uh, we can now get an entrepreneur, or we could get a wizard to attach to an army. Um, I think what we really need is money, but I also don't think that it's going to provide a ton. Um, bless you. I just, I just really need some cash. But let's see. Let's get the Death Wizard and have a look at that. So we're at 1275, goes up to are yours to yeah, 400 gold. When we um, sail over to here, we'll make a little bit more. Yeah, it's a bit of money. It's not much. I'd love another Remoliant hero here. Oh, what do we get? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This will speed things up so much. Oh, that's so good. Fecund. That's what I like for my Lawmaster, so that's good. Uh, where would I want to send him? Probably around over over to uh, Fortress of Vorag. But, yeah, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Resilient and Maidens. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for Resistant. I saw that there was Resilient. I don't need that. Thanks anyway, but that's not what we're looking for. Alright, cool. Extra growth incoming, so that's good. This guy also helps to maintain public order. Just a little bit. Alright, cool. Alright, so Plane of Bones is okay. Black Iron Might. Don't bother about this province. I can't properly defend it. Except for that area. Uh, Derek Wright did a 10 dollars super chat. How do you feel about saving Lord Heroes with traits you like and loading them into new games as opposed to waiting 50 turns to find the ones you like, creating uh, or good new perk? Um, I like that about Warhammer 3. It's a little bit cheesy, but considering all the cheese that they removed, I do like it. It's especially useful for High Elves, actually. Okay. Uh, who got to level up? Always. Mm. Destruction abounds. Should I repair that? Uh, it'll repair on its own, and I'm still not 100% confident I'm going to def... Ah, oh, fuck, I just do it. That'll provide public order as well. Good, 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 good. We are ill at ease. Held on to the black crag for a while, and while we've got this, that basically disables them from getting. Oh no, they can get they can get black orcs from here, but it won't take them one turn to recruit. That's why you got to take black crag off them fairly early. Fully expect to lose misty mountains, which is why we didn't invest in it at all. All right, looking at the territory of Clan Wars. More things for my trophies. Challenge me. I actually want to prioritize taking out Krokgar first. So if we have a look at Krokgar, yeah, he's not that strong. He's strong, but he's not that strong. I don't think I can justify force marching, even though it's going to take another few turns to get there. We can still see that. Um, Clan Moors hasn't occupied this, so I'll have to send a lord around to go and do that. I'm not going to send her to do it. That'd be a waste of money. And let's move on. Uh, any new enemies to declare war on? No, see, dude, we were already at war with everyone. If you filter it, sort by diplomatic status. Yeah, it orders them that way. There are no new enemies. We're good. We're good. Hard to encounter new enemies when you're barely moving. And how many turns do you, does this one here have of uh, influence now? You have my attention. 34. Yeah, so it's it's got a good stockpile of influence. That's good. Moving on. 
Are you just going to recruit one entrepreneur? I thought there was another one. I don't have any more capacity. Oh, you mentioned that. Yeah, I don't have any more capacity. I would. I would have. Um, I can't disband Michaela. I made her immortal. But yeah. Uh, I gotta wait to get more capacity again. Why are Feck and Infisi so similar, but such completely dis... Mm, they're not similar. They don't even sound similar. I don't know what you're talking about there. Yeah, weird thing that's going on with the dwarves. They're just refusing to occupy Dead Rock Gap, which is fine because it keeps them distracted. Good you public order there. Order. Have courage. Destruction. Good. Good, good, good. Right, if this one moves I over to here, to yeah, it'll cause a revolt, so you have to stay there a little bit longer. Okay, we make it there next turn. No point force marching now. We've made it to Lamia, and we successfully didn't get ambushed. That was nice. Follow the dragon. Come on, tier 5 settlement. Good, there's an army in here. Looks like it was recruiting. Let's have a look. What level strikes. settlement? Tier 5 settlement. Nice. Do you know what that means? Tier 4 settlement for me. Alright, looks like we can get away with an order resolve here. Oh my god, I just realized that I had him in with his dragons all this time. Yeah, but then again, we've been at risk for order uh, for um, ambush. So they will that. know Kalidor's name. That's fine. Looting and occupying. No, we need to keep the, as much as the money would be good. We need to keep the public order under control Join because there's going to be a fair bit of scaven corruption here. Yeah, I need to keep it under control. Good. They've already increased our capacity for handmaidens. So this would be a good place right now to start recruiting and disbanding um, the, t the 10 influence ones. So that I can start getting a resistant handmaiden. We need to get rid of the... T okay, that's good. That's I think that requires a Temple of Asurian. Just leave that for one turn. That's fine. Keep that for now. Uh, increase recruit rank. I should have forgotten this first, actually, before I recruit this. Almost, that's fine. And we need nobles, but we need walls more. No, I need wizards more. Hang on. All right, we've got an administrator here. Pop that down and then grab... Yeah, grab that. High Elven Archer. Good. You can research gem tech. Oh, you're right. You're right. Um, you are right. You are right. But the cultural advances can get us the waystone network, and I need to demolish that building right away, which I don't need to demolish that one. So I'm gonna go with this one first, and then I'll do that one. You are right. Thanks, dude. Yeah, getting that at tier five was really good. Really, really good for us. Let's hear it. So what I think we should do here is that send this one back over next turn and then allow this one to do it. So they alternate and keep this province here under control. Oh, he's here. Unfathomable knowledge. Don't think so. Gifted advisor. No way. Hmm. All right, looking at Mount Silver Spear. Oh, we've already recovered mostly. That's good. How likely is he to besiege this? He's still pretty likely to do it. Master of High Magic. All right, what I'm going to do? Stand here. Going to encamp stance. Give him the opportunity to attack us. I don't need to recruit anything. Don't need to recruit any more regiments of renown. I'm going to give him. Oh man, if you if you die with that on you, fuck me, get that off you, <laughs> get get off. Um, 
Hmm. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Get that on you. Oh, wait. You are limited to equipping no more than three items of refined ability. Okay, get rid of the Opal Amulet then. That's garbage by comparison. And then, yeah, ward save. Yeah, then you can have the golden crown of Atrazar. Nice. Get that ward save in, yeah. Good, good, good. You got anything better than Star Lance? No. no, no. Safari's servant. No. I think there's a good chance he'll launch the attack. There's Your a good aid. chance of it. Destruction. Good. Keep getting that. I don't like to do that. That's useless. The people are restive. All right. That's all fine. So it seems like Marathi's got access to the Sword of Cain at the moment. Doesn't matter. Uh, all of this seems fine. You have use of my power. Traveling unseen paths. Navigating. Yeah, this province here has a higher base income than than this one because of this building here. Knowledge awaits. And yeah, we want to swing him around over here All to the get the there. extra growth into this province. And let's see what else we got in terms of heroes this turn. Yeah, I'm at my capacity. Just wait for another second one to show up. All right, all good, all good, all good, all good. All right, what else we doing? And let's move on. Can Imric run almost without any other units now, just with it on land, in sake of transfer units to another army? Mm, no, he's not that strong, not yet. We haven't got Wurzag's traits. Um, don't have a Talisman of Preservation. Alright, here we go. The long beards with great weapons are a poor choice due to the fact that we don't have that much armor in our army and they don't have shields. Ongrim is going to be a big problem. We don't have a dragon to just take him out this time. But I'm fairly confident that I can beat this. Fairly confident. Now, the biggest problem with this situation compared to the last time we fought Ongrim is that we're the defender, which makes the battle more difficult as opposed to when we're the attacker, because we could have just wasted all of this ammo, which now it's just not as easy to do that. Dark Elves is a total would be easier than High Elves one. Depends on which Dark Elf faction, but typically speaking, yeah, Dark Elves are uh, kind of forced into a... This is total war, sometimes anyway. Okay, I'm going to set up over here. And try not to get killed this time, that would be great. And try to buy as much time as possible. You go over that way, actually. Nice. By the winds. Thanks, Rock. Alright, so if you're wondering, why am I always sending my lord out here? It's so to get their artillery to shoot, which gets them separated from the rest of their army. What are you doing? Over here. This way. Because they just shoot at the first thing they can see, even if it's a bad target. I know they got magic resistance, but...
You have an eagle? Yeah, I know, but we're not the attacker. Okay, that was a much better cast of it, so that's good. Only two pieces of artillery this time, not that much. Okay, we're almost in position. Uh, we don't need to check aboard that much at the back line, though. Coming in on the artillery. Good there. This one come around and take out the grudge throwers. These two will sort out the bolt throwers. I don't know how you can survive Marathia as a Total War campaign. Well, she's basically subjected to it as a Total War campaign from the get-go anyway. So it doesn't really make her campaign that much more difficult than what it was to begin with. Alright, what we want to do here to try to get their... ...shields... ...to turn around the other way, you get them to run past the infantry line. Don't you get killed? We can heal you this time. Okay, get out of that. Get out. Good. Artillery's been dealt with. That's it. It's all just about messing them around. Same thing with Ungram. Try to get Ungram away. Rather, if we can't kill him, which we can't just yet, and we shouldn't focus on him just yet, then the other best option is to annoy the hell out of him. Yeah, don't shoot at Ungram. He's just too damaging. Just don't bother with it. Unfortunately, he just refused to uh, take the bait there. Let's keep them distracted. Hit anything that we can do to get them to shoot into the back of a unit. Awesome. Oh, great, she's gonna get killed if this keeps up. We need to move up and start getting rid of these wizards, uh, wizards, archers. Let's get her out of there. I'm gonna lose another fucking wizard, am I? At least this one can heal. Stay back, just stay back. A little bit longer. It shall be done. Archers. I go for Oak One. Yeah, it magic. Come on, you can get out of there. God damn it. Not another bloody wizard. Which was these dwarves and their friend? <laughs> oh no, no, she get she got out. She got out. It's okay. So I guess she lose the battle field. We did use up pretty much all of our movement any um magic anyway. Stay away from that. Draw back. 
She might rally. She might rally. Okay, we're still we're still okay here. We're still okay. It would be good. If she, uh, I don't think she's gonna rally. You gotta focus on this over here. Get rid of these fucking archers. Okay, good. She rallied. Here. Um, just hang tight for. No, no, no. She's gonna. She's gonna go if I don't heal it. Ah, oh, she's still routed. You get over here. We still got a little bit of a heal left, maybe. Stay in there, stay in there. Okay. Now we're going to try to shoot Angra. Most of his army has been dealt with now. Now we're going to try to deal with Angra, which is tricky. We've, st we've got enough ammunition, I think, to get him. Army loss is coming in soon. And now we just play the game of avoid the hell out of him. It's working, it's working. Yeah, don't, don't engage with him. Uh, Stanislav Nadenkov did a $5 super chat. Uh, hey Legend, is it possible for you to stream Cyberpunk, or what other game you can stream until a new patch for m 3? I don't know, honestly dude, not thinking about that stuff during streams. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna start putting my foot down, and I appreciate the super chat, but we are not discussing this stuff anymore. Okay, appreciate that. That, that stuff is no longer up for discussion. But I, I do appreciate the super chat. Archers. Forward. Orders received. A pace. The most potent spells. We're probably not going to get any more magic in. Magic unleashed. Archers. Advance. Asura, Archmage. Okay, she's into the back of this one. Good, yeah, we've almost got him. Almost got him. Yeah, he's a fucking pain, Ungram. And our wizard actually lives. Yeah, you get over here, let's take out this one. Same thing with you guys. Shouldn't have any problem with this one. Yeah, I'm going to start putting my foot down and just not engaging, super chat or not, with questions that derail the stream, you know. I just, it, it enough is enough, basically. But I do appreciate the super chat, but uh, I'm no longer going to entertain those questions. Now you don't want any units uh, in melee with him while you're shooting, because otherwise you're gonna get friendly fire for one thing, and uh, they will be obstructed for another. Oh, oh group's gonna be one of the biggest pains in the ass to deal with. Legend has an issue with Cyberpunk, long story. No, I don't have an issue with it. I don't own it. I don't have an issue with it. Uh, I'm just not going to entertain those... those uh... Look, he... these questions derail the stream. Okay, they just, they're just they very disruptive. I get that it's, it's, it's a totally innocuous question, but they derail the stream. I'm just not going to entertain those questions. It's got nothing to do with Cyberpunk. I may or may not cover Cyberpunk. I'm not going to discuss it during streams, though. Okay. End of story. That's. I'm just going to have to put my foot down with this kind of stuff now. Because it's it's really gotten out of hand. Oh my 
god. <laughs> I'm about to run out of ammo. May have to go into melee with him. Just I'm out of ammo. Didn't know that it was discussed. If anyone would ask, it's okay, dude. Like I said, I I'm not mad at you at all. That was a completely innocuous question. It's just that it opens up a floodgate of like, why not this? Why not that? Why not this? Why not that? And that's what happened yesterday. And I'm getting a lot of bad feedback from it. And I've I've I was thinking about it over last night. Um, and I've I've really got to put my foot down with with this stuff. There are just things in streams that we are just not going to discuss and I'm just not going to humor it anymore okay because people are big time complaining and if I want to maintain viewership everyone's going to be enjoying it and I I'm just not going to just uh, just not going to do it anymore well, don't get wiped out need to retain its experience come on die <laughs> Why not try a permanent lure with real trait, holding off the dwarfs? Um, maybe. Maybe. They are- this is like the fifth army that's come down this way. Their lives so yeah, I do I just end up keep disbanding it. Now that should buy us a few turns before they come in here. The thing is, I need to make money so I can keep constructing stuff. I don't actually want to have an army here, but they just keep sending more armies. Yeah, basically, just keep the conversation on the game. That's it. Just keep it on the game. We can talk about Warhammer 2, we can talk about Warhammer 3, out, and maybe other and other Total War games, sure. Outside of that, all discussions are going to get shut down from here on out, okay? You know, don't, don't ask about personal stuff, don't ask about business stuff, don't be like, what about play this, what about play that, what do I think of CA? I'm just going to shut down everything. Um, you want to talk about Total War Warhammer? One, two, or three... Total War Attila, Three Kingdoms, the future of Total War, anything Total War related, all good. Everything else, no. We're done. Okay. The wind. Empower us. Master of high magic. Alright, cool. Can you attack the next settlement as a buffer? Uh well the problem here is like getting there. And it's already a buffer, it's just they just bypassed it, that's all. We still ask about a dog? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. It's not that not big of a deal, I guess I can, I can tolerate that. They may deal. Live for a price. No, it's uh... One's triumph was foreseen! Stannis left Nannikov, did chill some shit, no worries, just wanted to support the channel. No, dude, I, I really appreciate all the support that you've done. Um, but yeah, I, I had to put my foot down as of today. Um, because it's getting out of hand. Wasn't in the slightest bit mad at you. I appreciate all the support that you do. You know, it, it, tell, tell you what you can do. Just, like, message me on Discord if you want to know. Um, more than happy to chat with you, dude. Yeah, so if you want to know, like, that kind of stuff, why not play this, why not play that, by all means, just private message me. Uh, that being said, if I get flooded with, like, a bazillion friggin' messages, obviously, I won't be able to answer them all. So just keep that stuff in mind. So yeah, let's keep the private stuff private. 
and Total War stuff, we can talk publicly. But outside of that, just we we gotta we gotta I gotta have a bit more strict enforcement of the chat. That's clearly a big gripe that a lot of people are having, and I think I'm finally learning that lesson. Took a bit. The Archmage marches. All right. So yeah, why don't I have a permanent lord here? Wisdom. Maybe next time they come down here, I will recruit a permanent lord. But for now, for now, I want to make money. <laughs> so just, just let that one go. Noble son of Ulthuan. Yeah, we should be in the clear for a few turns now from the dwarfs. Greetings. What do you require of the Karazanko? Noble son of Ulthu. Smash it to ruin. Do you think by declaring war on factions you normally be in good relation with, it hurts AI faction like dwarves uh, constantly the sending armies to you and neglecting other me. wars? Uh, I don't know. It, it only really happens in I this Total War campaigns, and I don't play them that often to really monitor that kind of stuff. Um, Silence is a virtue to defy 50 and okay some shit. Fires in this campaign feels like a return to form. I hope you see. Hope to see you stream dwarfs whenever they come. Granted, Warmer 3 gets better. Well, we'll see how we go. Thanks for the super chat. I mean, we just don't know when Chorps are coming. They might not come for another year. Who knows? Hi, Elvin Archmage. They cannot withstand high magic. Calv did a five dollar super chat. They will uh, can't know attend all your streams, but I hope watching your streams afterwards helps the channel too. Yep, it definitely does. It's all good. Appreciate it. Thanks, super chat. Another torment disorder. Nice. Okay. 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 I really need to know what's going on. Guides me. Down here. You're not attaching back to the army for a turn or two. We will stop this plague. So I'm think I'm thinking I'll go to Mahrak, but with no desire to actually hold it. Treading softly. Okay, I I'm glad I scattered ahead because if we get ambushed with that fucker, oh my god! So we can prevent that from happening. The dragon shall wake. Will not, cannot. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Boys, like one, one fucking tail too short. Hang on. Anything. No, I won't be able to encamp if I do that. Seeking glory, all demands we rest. Oh, if only I had that researched. All right, we'll get get that one done. Yeah, that would be a friggin' nightmare. <laughs> I have to declare war on every faction in the game. That's really bad for this is a total war campaign. Can you confer Tyrion or other high elves? Yeah, if the opportunity shows up, I can. But in a this is total war campaign, the opportunity rarely shows up. All right, so trade advancements, so that we can research the stuff that we want over here. As much as I. No, I really need the Waystone network. Really, really need it. Alright, get rid of this. Actually, the Untainted might be helpful to get rid of the Scaven Corruption. I'll keep it for now. Countless rats! Yeah, we need wizards. High Elven Archmage. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. I mean, I would have preferred an Entrepreneur or Fecund, to be honest. But, popping this down in Imric's army. Mmm. Oh, that's tasty. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. That's what you want to see. Very lovely. Any chance we'll see a Lawmaster hit squad in an army? Pretty low chance of it. We'll see how we go, but pretty low ready. chance. The Assassin Lord of an Armor of Destiny. Tricks us Yeah, that is a good item. Yeah. Warp Bomb. Right, so we know that this is walled up. By the White Tower. Okay. Oh, well, she's maxed out now. Rats make poor foemen. Yeah, okay. Put that in there. She can't get killed. 
Skaven scurry and hide. You have my attention. Brave son of Ulfwan. Alright. Yeah, because we need to alternate so that they can each get a chance to be securing influence. While also requiring them to maintain public order here, because this one and other things are causing me problems. Does that resistant trait stack? Yep. Traits, typically speaking, do stack. Alright, so looking at this one here, six turns until growth pops in here. Four turns until growth. Nice. Nice. We need more tier four stuff. Alright, let's have a look at what else we got going on. Yeah, not worth recruiting and disbanding right now. Um, just keep an eye on this. Not worth recruiting and disbanding. Something will pop up here eventually. Alright, now that this one's done, what I'm going to do is sail down this way towards um, either Lamia or maybe down to here. But if we're going to do down here, there's always a chance of getting intercepted at sea. Um, so, Imrix path is to hit Matrak, having no desire to actually hold it, then swing around to Libaris, and then beeline down to the Temple of Skulls. We need to eliminate Krokgar. Uh, kind of more important than uh, Clan Moors. Good, we've had a bit of a reprieve out here. Does your Warhammer 2 Legendary Lord ranking change in Warhammer 3? Um, I haven't played enough Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires to make that judgement, but I would imagine there would be uh, changes, yeah. Hmm. Well, what I can do with him, keep him on this border, when this is done... I can switch him over there. Yeah, we got the money, get that walled up. Don't worry about Black Iron Mine, it is a very vulnerable settlement, no point investing in it. All good. Oh, you know, you know who should get a permanent lord? This one. Alright, we don't have a wizard in, in this army apart from the lord. Let me have a look at Princess and see what's available. Punitive. But if I do that, then no magic. Fuck it. What would you have of me? Pure magic. Garrisoning! Hoef sends us! Magic in purest form. You know who needs that Christian scout right now? Fucking Imric. How the fuck you got Karakade Peaks? I conquered it. Conquered it yesterday. I sent Imric over there and was like, knock, knock, who's there? Fuck off. And they were like, okay. And then they're dead. Alright, uh, who got the level up? Oh no, it's this one here. Princess yeah, it's, it's a bit iffy not having a wizard in the army, for sure. Um, but punitive is so good. Such a good trait. Uh, if we could get a light wizard in that army, that would be... Let me have a look here. Hmm. Yeah. The light wizard would be good. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep doing what we can. I'll, I'll figure something out for that. Eventually. Uh, oh, you know... Oh, shit, I just realized. Um, you know what we should do? Send a lord to go and occupy Nagashazar now. Public end. order here. Okay, just... um. Yeah, don't tax it. Ah, oh, shit.
Because I know it's not occupied by Skaven. If we have a look here, we can keep track of all their settlements. They have eight regions. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, let me just say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, we've, we've kept track of them. They don't have Nagashas up. Laser Ride 57 did a 50 and okay super chat. Did they patch the air exploit where they won't send barricades? Sorry, where they won't attack barricades if built during deployment, making siege defense easier? I think they did fix that, yeah. Alright, we'll do that as of next turn. Recruit a Lord here. Could have done this turn. To send it to Nagashazar to ruin Dweller. It should be safe the whole way there. Protector of the Ever Queen. Mmm, very tasty. Let's move on. Do the tier list rankings you did about a year ago still apply to Warhammer 2 Immortal Empires currently? Mm. Yeah, the tier list I would say that... Oh, man. <laughs> the tier list I did for Warhammer 2 apply to Warhammer 2. Why don't you build up Nagashazar? Um, I didn't send the army up that way because uh, Clan Moors wasn't there. I wasn't going to send the an entire army to go and ruin Dweller. I'm actually thinking I might need to keep my army. With your scales, monster. No, I can't do that. Might need to keep the army there for a little bit for maintaining public order. You will pay for your follies. The Prince of Dragons swears it. Yeah, we always knew this was going to revolt. It's fine. All right, they're they're no longer raiding this one, so that's good. Can you move over to here? All right, that's that's okay for this turn. Standing by. What do you require? Destruction. Oh, he fucking failed. I await your orders. Smash it to ruin. Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. Noble Lord, with purpose. Yeah, no signs of problems here. Smash it to ruins. Our traditions give me strength. Yeah, look at those Ragnarok spiders, you're right. Yeah, they ruined they wounded my handmaiden. <laughs> you know, easy come, easy go. Um Keep recruiting uh, and disbanding the 10 influence ones and see if we get another one. Handmaiden of Alario. Yeah, sons of bitches. But on the plus side, we are. actually make it to Mahrak. The game said I wouldn't make it, but we do make it. We know this is walled up. I hope that army put itself in here. It did. I decree death. That's okay, sieges are easy enough. But it'll have to be fought manually, obviously. I sense items of power. Alright, so here are the things we've got to be concerned about. Warp Bomb. Not so much the Avalanche Mortars. Not really a concern in this sort of situation. Uh, the fact that they've got tons of units in here... ...isn't really that big of a deal, because Flame will wreck their ass. We got 118 wins of met. Yeah, we'll be fine. Lightning Strike isn't going to really do anything here. We'll be fine. All right, let's jump in here and see what we can do. Would have been great to pop the Handmaiden in here just to get the experience, but yeah, what are you going to do? Catching this army here inside of the settlement is really the best case scenario for us, and then we're not going to see the um, the Avalanche Mortars again for a little while, which is nice. 
Theoretically speaking, would a, any vampire account migration campaign south into Nageshazar be viable? It'd be viable, you gotta be careful though. Because as you're traversing down that way, there's a lot of things that can kill you. But yes, it is viable. Alright. Now, we gotta watch out for everybody's favorite warp bomb. Because we totally wreck our army. Good. Sometimes I accidentally leave someone over there. It shall be done. We will obey. I didn't check to see how many warp bombs there are. Uh, no, there would be one. I didn't check to see how many menace belows there are. They're likely going to hit the, uh, the stuff here. So we need to be ready to pop down on them and just get them to be uh, scary. Oh, they haven't done it yet. Maybe they don't have any menace blows. Oh, no, there, there, there they go. Just be scary. Just be scary. And that's all. That's all you need to do is be scary. There we go. Just get, let them go away. Be scary. Don't touch them, because otherwise they explode. Uh, Sauerosh... What? Etzemadi did a five dollars super My favorite faction, love the channel. All right, thanks, dude. Love you too. Appreciate the support. Sorry if I didn't pronounce your name right, which I probably didn't. All right. Oh crap! They got multiple of them. Oh shit! Yeah, that's that's going to explode if we're not careful. It's going to explode. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. Oh god. There'll be another one. They come in groups of one, three, or five. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. A little bit of damage is fine. Just don't let that warp bomb go off. Next one popping down. Try to get out of the way. Good. Alright, luckily we had scary enough units to not worry about. That should be the last of their menace belows. Which also means the last of their opportunities to warp bomb. We should get three warp bombs. Not in minor cities. No, they changed it a long time ago. What it'd be one warp bomb. How we going there? Yeah, it's coming along. All right, now that that's done. It's time to do some flame storms. Now we can get them to actually warp bomb their own units. Because all we're going to do is... Okay, see this damaged one here? If I just fly right over it, it'll warp bomb. And that will cause them to blow up their own units. Ready? 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 If I just fly right over it... Yeah! <laughs> Did we see that? There we go. Their one and only warp bomb has been used up and they blew up their own troops. The game mess blows with Queek there. That's only if Queek is commanding. Queek isn't here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a spicy meatball. Flamestorm is so good in this area here. Finally goes down. Alright, now, as for the avalanche mortars, we can get them to kill their own units by sending in the eagle. Within range of it, and they should bomb this area here. 
Just gotta watch out for rattling guns. Here. I'm right here for you, Avalanche Mortars. I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Advance. Go on, you gotta be a bit more accurate than that. Maybe, maybe I will land, actually. Quick time. With me. Without fail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take this, you shit. <laughs> Love it when you can actually make the avalanche mortars kill their own army. Out for the rattling gun. Although this one seems to have a lot of missile resistance. Funny thing here is that at this stage here we can heal everything they've done because we've got a push for healing on it. Oh yeah, come on, bomb your own unit. Bomb it. Yeah. <laughs> Wreck your own fucking units. Good stuff. Hey Legend, why are you abusing the AI? What did they do to you? Definitely want to be landing. Still managed to get 61 kills as well. Oh yeah. That's it. Love that cheese. One more shot. Glory awaits together. Rapid advance. All right, that's all I need to do there. Just get rid of the uh, of that one, and let's resume over here. Look at that. Pretty much healed to full. No, we did heal to full. Uh, but then we get shot on the way over here. <laughs> oh my god, what a waste for them. Wasn't too concerned about wasting the ammunition of the uh, the artillery. It's, it was just the uh, the uh, the avalanche mortars. They they had to go.
What did you think about Wemo 1 before Wemo 2 was released? I thought it was meh. It's just meh. Um, but in terms of the context, you gotta keep in mind that when Wemo 1 came out, uh, Rome 2 and Total War Attila were the most recent Total War games. You know, there was no Three Kingdoms, there was no Warhammer 2, so... Warhammer 1 was pretty good because it was definitely better than Attila and Rome 2, but it... Like, if... If Warhammer 2 was released before Warhammer 1, Warhammer 1 would have looked like absolute trash by comparison. Like, that's why if you go back and play Warhammer 1 now, it, it, it looks and feels like absolute garbage, but it provi provided the, uh, the building blocks for Warhammer 2. And uh, they definitely did a good job going from Warhammer 1 to Warhammer 2. There's no doubt about that. They're, you know, the Vortex campaign is crap, but... You know, they found a way to, in, in the future, make something even worse. So, Vortex campaign actually doesn't seem all that bad these days. Oh yeah, spicy. Alright, we're starting to run low on magic now, but, you know, with 1400 kills, I think we're okay. Oh, that didn't do much. And most of that's on Storm Vermin as well. Because that's what they've been putting over here. Alright, well don't use up all the wins, or else we're not going to be able to regenerate it. You get, okay, one more, one more breath attack. Alright, now let's bring the archers up and start shooting. Actually, no, no. Let's bring the artillery a little bit more over here and shoot them first. Scrunch Crimes did a 1.79 pound super chat. Mm, flame Grilled Rat. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. I'm fairly sure they're putting units over here that are, uh, stalking. Uh, you don't direct your Vortex spells anymore? Uh, I do. I do if I need to, but... Since it's just gonna bounce around here all over the place, I don't really need to redirect it. Good, they're getting loads of kills. Yeah, get rid of the Night Runners. And get rid of the Storm Vermin. And, okay, then just get Imric to go and take out this wizard here. That'll be good. The army also shouldn't be too far off. We've uh, absolutely wrecked them now. Good, that was instead. What's his ward save now? 38%. And he's got regen. Nice. You know, SFO, would that make the game more challenging? Um, SFO. Okay, so SFO is a bit... Uh, okay. With SFO, I do not feel like, for the most part, it makes the game more challenging. What it does is it slows down the game a lot. So, I feel like with live streams and people having shorter attention spans now than ever, SFO is maybe not the best choice. Maybe for Warhammer 3, but I'd have to go and have a look at it. But typically speaking, SFO has been hit and miss on the channel. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not.
Alright, I'm just going to put these on fire. We'll let them shoot whatever they want. And as for Imric, I want you to go kill those rattling guns over there. What do you think about Wormer 2 Sieges? Completely ignoring Wormer 3 Sieges right now. Well, obviously, Sieges in Wormer 2 are shit. It's just that Wormer 3 Sieges are worse. The thing about the Wormer 2 Sieges, while they are shit, at least they're less frequent than in Warhammer 2. Ah, 3. It's not every single battle is a siege battle. Go, got him. Alright, that is a big blow to the Skaven here. They just lost a ton of troops. That would have taken them quite some time to recruit that. Semi flying object. Yeah, SFO, what it does is it removes a lot of cheese from the game. It also adds some new cheese, but it also removes a lot of the AI cheats. Um, so I do not think it is actually more challenging. Um, I've never really had any problems with my campaigns in SFO. It's sometimes even done better than vanilla, uh, but it does make the game run. Uh, like, your overall campaign takes longer, which isn't necessarily the best thing ever. Alright, we don't want to cause public order problems here, so just occupy. Now, I don't expect to hold Mahrak. Hopefully I kept the walls building. Good, we did. So I don't expect to keep Mahrak, but this is just to buy us some time, so that uh, we can go down here and finish this stuff over here. Maybe it would be good for this one to come down here and um, and protect Lamia, I don't know. We stand ready for action. Now, uh, another thing to consider here, if we want to hold on to, to Nagashazar, which, you know, uh, public order will go down by a lot if we leave, so maybe I might have to leave her here a little bit. Uh, I'll give us some public order followers so that we can at least generate a bit of a buffer as much as possible. Yeah, Imric's okay. So that'll give us six extra public order. That'll keep it under control. Then we need to recruit a lord to go over to... Um, there, yeah, sort it out. Yeah, you'll do. So this one will go and do it. So that should provide a nice big buffer for public order. We are getting rid of the uh, the corruption fairly quickly. Uh, but yeah, we don't want to have a revolt cause while we're... while we're gone. So, just gotta try and keep it under control for a little bit. This province is a pain in the ass. Uh, when do you usually consider an Inmate campaign complete? No, I don't really use any sort of arbitrary com um, criteria, so I don't really have an answer to that. Okay, over here we can do some stuff that we need to do. So let's get an administrator. I think I've got one active. There we go. Master of high magic. And we definitely want some more wizards and we definitely want some more nobles. I think we're good for handmaidens for the time being. Yeah. Good. Master good, good, good. And then magic. off you go. Good. I hear the widow maker. 
crown prince. Defender of the Asser. What's the difference between prince and princess lord? Sorry for stupid question. Don't really play high elves. <laughs> Princes are boys and princesses are girls. <laughs> no, okay, so a prince lord, a prince lord doesn't have, um, doesn't have a bow, they're, they're fully melee lords, right? Princesses are hybrid, they have swords and bows. Um, princes get the trait, uh, dragon wield, where princesses will get, um, punitive. So they've got a different, uh, trait set, and, uh, in terms of their, like, generic Monster skill line, they're pretty much identical. But they're just slight variations between the two. I'm listening. You seek illumination. Standing by. All right, all of this looks good. Brave son of Ulfwan. Any new enemies? Nope, that's good. So there's going to be a revolt down here at Misty Mountain. Can't prevent it even if I exempt it from taxation. So just let it happen. I just took it because I was coming down here. Because there is... Oh, God. Because there's 84%, 82% untainted, it's probably going to bring back the goddamn... Oh, sorry. Uh, it's going to bring back a revolt that we don't want to deal with. Um, uh, a, um, it's going to bring back a faction. I should have abandoned the settlement. Just sell it to somebody. What I could do is recruit an army there really quick. Oh, God damn it. You must restore order. All right. I, I got to do this. I don't want any fucking factions coming back. I'm going to put a lord in here. Not you. Yeah, you. Master of high magic. Okay, and then put one Master regiment of renown of in here. Magic. That buys me one I turn to win. abandon it. Okay, I don't want any goddamn factions coming back. I just can't deal with that shit. I should have abandoned it last turn. I just wasn't thinking. Dwarfs return from the Misty Mountains. Mm, are you sure? Whatever the case is, whoever comes back from here, I don't want them coming back, so let's abandon it. It'll cause some public order problems, but if we have a look at our territories, no blood country is fine. This one's fine. Fine. I look at these ones are the worst. So this one here, that's gone. This one here might have a revolt, but if I send Defender. these guys back here, they'll be fine. Um, I may need to exempt this from taxation for a couple of turns. That'll be fine. Alright, everything else will be fine. Alright, let's move on. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, move on. Why not just abandon the Gesh province altogether to save tons of money? Um, in the short term, you're right, that would save money. But we can lock this down. And even though it is a red territory... For the High Elves, it's okay. It's okay. Um, once we take out the Skaven, then there's really nothing that's going to be able to go and take it away from us. It just means that we have to invest a little bit more into it than usual. That's all. Excuse me. Oh, I need some more energy juice. I oh, there we go. oh, mighty lord. The fates have surely selected you for greatness. Thanks to my guidance, your tremendous power grows as if driven by some divine power. Your enemies tremble before you. Rats make poor foemen. Noble son of Ulthan. Mm. 
This guy provides way more public order. Go back way. over here, and then it's stable. Okay, good. You continue Let's to do this. There will be carnage. Good. Maybe we can switch them each turn. Carrick eight peaks. Okay, desolation is only next turn. Uh, I think public order will actually be. Very iffy here. Um, look, it's only 500, just hold it off. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Give me a break. <laughs> I think we I think we can manage it. Uh, they're honestly more difficult than dealing with um Asur Sorcerer. Than dwarfs. I cannot oh. rewrite reality. Your word? Okay, bit of a buffer for public Stand order here. By. Princess of Althran. Hmm. Yeah, the corruption's going away. A bit. Oh, the event. How long does that might last? Five more turns. The scaven corruption is going to go down to nothing. Pretty much need an emollient noble just sitting here constantly. I've got an emollient noble. Why don't we send him over here? Because, yeah, he provides a ton of public order. Okay. I might do that soon. All right, looking at clan walls, how strong are they? Yeah, they they must be recruiting really quickly. The dragon shall wake. Mm, bit of a risk. Prince of Calador. Seems unlikely that their army would be here though. Our traditions make us strong. Handmaiden of Alaria. Alright, let's see what other heroes we've got available this turn, if any. Mm, nothing interesting there. Nothing interesting there. Okay, that's fine. What do you require? Destruction! I smell the rodent's fear. What would you have of me? Hmm. Yeah, I just gotta deal with this. It'll take us oh, God, quite a few turns. It's very expensive doing this. You may have been right. It might have been better to just demolish it, but we've got the finances to it, and as long as they don't jump over here and instantly retake it. We, we should be okay. Alright. Yeah, we need to get that one done. Really important. And we need to recruit over here. Alright, what do we got? Innovated? Nope, we can't use you. Peaky? Alright, you get in here. Master of High Magic. We need to recruit. What have we got in terms of dragons? Hang on. Master All right, if I can't magic. reach him, he can't reach me, so that's good. Dragons aren't available. Regiments of renown are, but since they can't reach us, Master of High Magic. They're likely to go for this because everyone else is going to be walled up as well. Hoeth's disciple. Yeah, we'll definitely need to hire some regiment of renown. Good thing we got finances kind of under control now. Money's money's a lot better. Just leave Mahrak alone, it's probably going to get retaken. Alright, that's all we can really do that turn. Just not a particularly interesting turn there. Okay, it said heroes not moved. Which ones? Right, and right. Okay, well then, don't notify me about that every turn. Okay, let's do this now. Hide. 
So Ruby Guardian Phoenix can be pretty damn good for fire resistance if we we're going up against fire attacks. Which Crocgar, I think he does do flame damage with his spell. So I'll go with the Ruby Guardian Phoenix because at least it does provide a map wide effect. And pop it down on here because a pigeon plucker pendant isn't needed. And that gives us even more flame resistance. Way more than we actually need. Time is of the essence. Yeah. I bring Azurian's fire. Let me think about this. If I stand here, we stand ready for action. Five turns until revolt. Because what I'm thinking, what if Must this one make. comes over here, globally recruits a few units, and just defeats whatever revolt comes? But this is going to take. Let's see. One, two. So one, two, three, four turns to get there. And then we need time to recruit as well. Public order will get a little bit better. Just stay there for one more turn. Next turn, we're going. We're going. And I'll just try my best to actually hold on to Nagashisa. Hopefully we got some Richmond of now ready to... Yeah, just... Yeah, okay. Because otherwise this is a big waste of money. Here and this one needs to start getting some experience because the revolt won't happen here, it'll happen at Nakashi. So I'm not gonna send it all the way back up this way, although I could. No, it's not worth it. No, it's not worth it. Okay, let's move on. Any new enemies? No, all good. Moving on. Helm of came to make him make unbreakable a one man army. Okay, so in this sort of war campaigns, building like one man doom stacks and that kind of stuff is not something that you should prioritize. But it is definitely not a bad item. You know, if we had Teclas, Teclas really is the one that benefits from being a one man doomstack more so than Imric. Ogres? Ogres are emergency units only. Oh, yeah, which that would be an emergency. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Tom Phillipson. Starting to get high level. Warp fire throwers are fire, no? Yeah, they are, but I'm usually not too worried about warp fire throwers because I usually I shoot them before they get already. close. Nope, sorry. Hmm. They're probably within range to attack Mount Silver Spear now. Alright, public order is much better. Give the word. I really doubt there's any armies out this way. We okay, here we go. Princess of Ulthran. Ooh. That could be good. Alright, we got... Yeah, we got four turns. Uh, probably a little bit more than that, actually, because there's still a plus eight public order bonus to be had. And I think this will be active soon. We've got three turns to get to Nagashazar. Okay. Now, over here, we've now got a full stack. I've got 12 units. So, once again... It might be a good idea to give them the opportunity to attack us. But yeah, the... Well, 12... No, These are all relatively... That guy's the faction leader. Relatively low level. Okay, stand there. Let me see, what would be specifically good against them? The Fireborn. And well, even even if they are anti-large, they're still crap against single entities. It's a big single entity though. Yes. 
Because you don't want to recruit too many units or else they won't make the attack. We outnumber them by by eight units. Those two units there don't count for anything. So really, that's it's a half stack, but they're higher tier units. Um, condensed Archer Fire on Arachnorak Spiders still takes a while to kill them. Just ignore him. Two chariots. Chariots can be a bit of a concern. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get the Fireborn. Okay, Phoenix. Phoenix not great in that situation. Okay. Oh god, he's gotten a lot stronger since the last time I checked. Greatest of the Dragon Prince. Ah, there he is. Hang on, let me have a look at this. And there's fucking walls there as well. My biggest concern is that he'll attack with this army and another one. And another one. And a fucking Rider Primeval Glory army while I'm stuck rage. in here. Let's say presence one. Cause yeah, that can't be his entire army. That's just that just doesn't account for that at all. We will prevail. Okay. I think that this here is iffy as fuck. What I need to do is back off. Yeah, back off. Withdraw! The, the the garrison is easy enough on its own. But what I want to do is just back off a little bit. Move to about here. Go into ambush stance and just see how things play out. Because I suspect that there might be another army over here. Because if I'm stuck in here, I can't withdraw. I don't know what's going to happen over the end turn. This is just a very iffy situation, that's all. Um... You should probably just sack it and sit in ambush. Hmm. I don't think it's worth sacking. As you were. Mm, nah, just stay here in ambush, Dance. He might just besiege it, and that might be our opportunity to get him. So we'll see how we go with that. Uh, so for much, I became a member for three months. Man, I love IE, but I can't wait until we have some tough decision making like this in it. Yeah, I feel you, dude. Thanks for the chat. Because, yeah, Imrek's army is not a doomsack, especially against Lizardmen because of their high armor and some of their units having a lot of shields. So we'll just uh, be patient. It's just not worth it right now. We will endure. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have enough money to get this stuff going. Yeah, because i got armies everywhere doing stuff. Born to lead. You have my attention. Take heart. Forward, at once. Smash it to ruin. Oh my god. <laughs> He's failing all the I damn time. Oh, well, we got this under control. Skaven, scurry, and hide. Ugh, they're actually recruiting decent units. Okay. All right, well, we make do with what we can. Behold, elven beauty. Who leveled up? Standing by. And uh, we'll see what else we can do. Ow. Hang on. Okay. Encounter at sea? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh. Man, you gotta love that anti-player bias. <laughs> Fucking asshole. But we got him now. Okay, it's way more important that we get uh, rid of um, Krokgar first. For one thing, good defeat trait for Imric. Um Yeah. So that works out pretty well there. I think I made the right decision.
How's it going so far, steamrolling as always? I'm not steamrolling. We are expanding, but it's very slow, which is typical of a This is Total War campaign. We're not, you know, stupidly rich. Um, you know, we, we got a few things that... Oh, wow. Fuck me. Okay. They cannot <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, that sorts that situation out. Perhaps their master values them. That'll take them a while to replace because um, Arachnorok spiders take three turns to recruit. What's going on in Ulth One? Hmm. God be good. You have the nerve to stand before me. If I was ridiculously rich, I could just keep throwing money at him to get uh, or influence to get that peace treaty and confederation. But uh, we're not at that stage yet. You know, try for Ulth One Part Two. We are pure of heart. Yeah, I would really like this guy here to actually get killed. I will dispatch them. Okay. Alright, well that worked out. So we can get rid of this again, buying us a bit more money. Good, four turns. Good, good, good. The Archmage marches. Good, we also finished this technology here, which gave us extra campaign movement range, which is very useful. That's useless. That's very detrimental. Construction cost is not worth discovering everyone and them having to chase after us. Oh yeah, remember how Hellebron was over here? And then she ran away and we never saw her again. <laughs> she never came back. Yeah, get trade advancements there. Alright, Crocker, I got your ass. The dragons... All right, we should order resolve this because that way I can actually hit the other settlement. Let us wait that was nothing. Mm, I think we should take the replenishment because we have no idea what's coming around the corner. They will rebuild Calidor. Good, got his um, defeat trait. Very good defeat trait. And yeah, we still end up making it to Libara. So there's another fucking army that I knew that there would be another army right around the corner. By the way, the let me have a look at this. Strikes. Let's go find out what it is. Alright, that is not that bad. Summary execution. I think we should uh, do what the other person suggested last time and just sack this city. So that we're not stuck inside of here. And that way if they want to occupy it, that's up to them. I am their doom. How many menace blows? Yeah, we'll look at it. Maybe they about three. Nothing. That army is blocked. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, will that still apply? Yes, it will still apply on the beginning of their turn. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, they can't attack the bars. Occupy, we to go. Good, good thinking. All right. Um. I'll win. I always do. Unless there's another army right around the corner. The but, uh, thanks for that info. Pride of yep, they can't reach us, apparently. Wow, well, thanks, Clan Wars. Mm -hmm. That could be good on this one. Uh, that's actually better. Really good for wizards. I smell the rodent fear. Okay, yeah, we've got an encounter here. It's not that much of a detour, so that's fine. Is it a battle? Yeah, this should be a fairly small battle, maybe even auto resolvable. That's fine. I'm glad you put my boy Crocker down quick, myself, sir. Okay, thanks, dude.
As a new player, your decision-making process is incredibly overwhelming and impressive. I appreciate that, dude, but I'm not a new player. <laughs> I, I obviously deliberately misinterpreted that. Um, I only have the faintest idea of what's happening. Yeah, it all just comes with practice. As you say. Oh, I don't like this map very much, but uh, I'm sure we'll be okay. Archers. We will obey. But yeah, this would be good for the Lord here to get some... Loyal. Um, we will obey. Oh god, you, that formation is... No, it's a fucking terrible formation. We will obey. Without fail. That's not really a whole lot better. Archers. But we don't want to be putting him in the trees like that. It's not ideal. Archers. Loyal. Archers. We will obey. Right, that should do it. So yeah, I usually like to leave a bit of a gap in the middle here, or else they do have a tendency of shooting our own troops. Um, this hill here is a problem. I, this is one of my least favorite maps if you've got an archer spam, but we should be okay. We outnumber the enemy by a ridiculous degree. It really shouldn't be a problem. Honestly, kind of embarrassing that they gave us such a bad order result, but it might be due to this Lord just not having much experience. That guy just went in there. See if we can get it to go after the de uh, the Lord here. Oh shit. That's it, that's it. Got its attention. Shooting into its back. They don't have shields anyway, but it's just... That way they're not shooting my archers, which is doing way more damage. There we go. Alright, easy. If I'm not mistaken, no casualties. Bit of, bit of damage on the Lord though. Ah, oh, almost no casualties. There we go. I don't know why, but I just can't stand playing Lizardman. Well, the thing is about this game is that you don't have to like every single race. And not every race is going to appeal to everyone due to preferred playstyles. Um, for the most part, I enjoy all the races. For the most part. But there are some races that I enjoy more than others. And it's funny, in Warhammer 2, there are some races that I really don't like playing. For example, Norska. But in Warhammer 3, I really like playing them. Um, really, really like playing Norska in Warhammer 3. Um, but in Warhammer 2, my favorite race is Skaven and High Elves. Now, I, I like Skaven and... I like Skaven in Warhammer 3, but I don't like High Elves in Warhammer 3. Unfetter the captives. Yeah, it's a punitive lord. Good, a creation scout as well, that'd be really handy. Nice! That was a good call. That'll make us quite a lot of extra money and help us get things growing, which is always very nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anyone sailing up this way, so you should be good to... Yep, get that. Alright, out Lamia. Definitely want to build that up. Money is... I think it's better to do it here. With the... Oh, I might have two administrators. Let me just check. Uh, oh yeah, we do have two administrators ready. Okay, so over here we've got... 
Yep. Yep, just because it's safer. Alright, I don't have enough money to pop it down to Lamia. Okay. Good. We got the walls of Libaros. Get rid of this trash. Don't need it. And, uh... Cool. Will you do some more... Some first 2010 guides for Immortal Empires? Mm, I have no plans of doing anything like that for the time being. Maybe one day, but not right now. You seek illumination? The game's not difficult enough for a guide to be worth anything. The Asser are ageless. Okay, let's check for heroes. Let's see what's available. I got no money, but let's just see what's available. Did I? I was going to recruit a handmaiden here to use as a scout. Boundless courage. But I ran out of money. Glory to the Kadai. Yeah, I can't exactly pull any money in diplomacy. Oh, Let me try Lord. something. What brings you to the halls of my ancestors? Ah, oh, you can. It works both ways. Uh, okay, hang on. Sure. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so yeah, I just managed to get a tribute from Thorgrim. Despite being at war with him. <laughs> okay, was that enough money? Oh, it was. Nice. A uh, little trick. Nice. Okay, we'll use this as a scout. Would you like in Three Kingdoms? I think the campaign mechanics in Three Kingdoms is pretty good, but uh, I found the battles to be a bit bleh. Just a, a little bit on the boring side. Let's go get the book, yeah. Do you know why he likes us? Because of all the battles we've done against Greenskins. Elvin Archmage. All right, we got four turns until revolt here, and let's move on. No, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, we knew the Mahrak was going to... Okay, now now we fight lizards, basically. By the way, that trick that I did there, you can do that in Wyrma 3 as well. Yeah, in, so in order to do that, in order to get a money uh, agreement one way or another, so a gift or a uh, a tribute, in order to do that, you while at war with someone, you have to offer peace and military access and then put in the amount that you want, and then you cancel the peace treaty. It'll cancel the non-aggression pact, or sorry, the military access, but it will leave the gift still there for you to uh, you know ask for it. Works in Wormer 3 as well. Mm. Okay, so at Mahrak... Oh, we're at full strength. Uh, we got no chance of defending against that. Oh, this one came back. The resistant one. Uh, yeah, we should put it into his army because he's less likely to get killed. And you just scout ahead a little bit. March! 
I bet you they're going to do a Rite of Primeval Glory army after I kill this one. Because if we have a look at their strength ranking, yeah, they're stronger than us at the moment, but it's uh, probably going to turn on us. Alright, let's have a look here. Fortress of Vorag is now ready to grow. That's good. Mm, yeah, okay, whatever. I got a little bit of money. It's not super stressful at the moment. I await your command. There will be carnage. Quake. Give me a break. Oh. Oh, I thought they liked us. No, they like weak. At least I know where they are. So Celestial Storm, they're the ones that recruit Lizardmen and Chaos units, so mm, they can be a pain. Let me oh, they're not at war with Clan Wars anymore. Yeah, great. Rats make poor fur. Mm. What do you require? Alright, well shit. We're not gonna hold Spike Peak. Not against this. Fear. There's no way. Noble son of Ulthor. Destruction. Good. You gotta stay here, keep maintaining that public order. Yeah. High Elven Archmage. So what's this? Three turns left? Five turns left. Okay, that's good. The slab seen all. I might still take them another turn to get to Spike Peak. I'll have a little look at that. Alright, you get in over here. What madness is this? That sounds like um one of the uh the Sisters of Twilight. Arahan. Nasra, that's it. Oh, I don't know if I got the money to really justify recruiting out here to uh, get rid of this, because it's pretty damn strong. I'd need a lot of troops. But let's just recruit somebody over here just to see if they're likely to attack over the intern. Um, recruit this one with the full intention of disbanding it. I'm just curious. Alright, there's a chance that they won't make it. Because this one here's got campaign movement range. Plus campaign movement range. So, we've got some time. We could build up some defenses. And you could come over here and maybe assault them. What's the chances of success? Mm, it's better than nothing. Did you lose Fortress of Vorag one time in this campaign? Nope. Nope. It just took that long to grow. Never lost Darkhold either. Uh, it just took a long time to grow. Because I, I didn't build the growth building, so it just takes ages. Alright, now that this has gotten to tier 4, let's move this one over here so we can get this one to tier 4. I just need as many tier 4 provinces as possible. Tier 5 is good as well, but we got to get the tier 4 stuff going. So you make your way over to, to here. Alright, let's have a look at what heroes are available. Nice, another resistant handmaiden. Okay, well, I'll definitely recruit that. Probably over here to attach into this army. Yep, I think that makes sense. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Don't you dare lose her. Lustria has great power. Time is of the essence. And that'll help with its replenishment rate as well. Alright, so we'll probably end up losing Mahrak, and then we'll use this one to try to... You know what, it might make a good Sack City to get this one leveled up. That might actually work out fairly well. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Alright, what else we got? Okay, Imric haven't moved him yet. I, you may look upon I'm surprised they stood and fought. Okay. I'll win. I always do. Their masters make money. Me work. Mm. 
Alright, so we do it alright. So it would be good if we can hit Doomglade next turn. So the way to check that is if I stand right Follow here, going to encamp Enough. stance, and then Okay, it looks like I'll hit there from here, and that way we get replenishment as well. Good, 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 good. Handmaiden of Alarm. Yeah, I just want to make a beeline straight down to his capital before he starts recruiting shitloads of dinosaurs. Alright, you Magic must not get killed. Spirit. We're going to replace you with that other wizard. Ridiculed, yep. High Elven Archmage. Hmm. High Elven Archmage. Abel! You look right in the head! I'll have access to all three dragons next turn. Oh yeah, there's also Karakate Peaks. The Asher are troubled. God damn it. I just can't justify keep recruiting more armies. Uh, Sammy Tanner did a five dollar super chat. Do landmarks still count as industrial buildings in Britannia in IE? How do free knights work? Thanks, Legend. Um no, for the first question, and second one, how do they work, is that you don't have to pay for them. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. Appreciate you. They don't pay any upkeep on them, because you get the, the uh, particular vow twice. Alright, if I put a lord in here... Alright, yeah, I'm going to put a lord in here. We're going to be broke at the end of this turn. Um, meddler, that's fine. We're very incompetent. Yeah, just put the metal in there. Master of high magic. And what I'm thinking here. No, I blame you. You. It no. seems likely he'll besiege that. So we've got 15 units in there at the moment. We want to be able to sally out. Uh, the warp grinders aren't that big magic. of a deal. But honestly, having a just one dragon will make all the difference here, I think. As long as they don't have rattling guns. So I reckon go with Heralds of the Wind and Dragon. And I think we can handle that. And leave the other dragons for the other one. New dragon encounter coming soon, which would be very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give me that gem setting. Very nice. The shadows lengthen. Cool. Any new enemies? Nope. Cool. Master and then, yeah, we need to recruit over here to prepare for a revolt. Although, the public order is starting to come a little bit more under control. So, maybe I do, maybe I don't. We'll see. Protector. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. How many armies do I have active now, right now? Five. Okay. The Ethua answers to me. Your will. Alright, let's move on. So farms is the meta, and I'm assuming free nights still works in IE. Thanks again. Farms is the meta, and um, free nights still work in IE. Last time I checked, it still works, but I don't, I don't check in between patches a lot of the time. Yeah, so they'll, they'll end up taking Mahrak. Look, I didn't put any effort to try to defend this, because I knew right from the get-go I just didn't want to put the resource into it. But let's try, because we've got some good units in here. Some good units. And I'll just see what I can do, because uh, we're only outnumbered by one. If we win, great. If we don't, no big deal. The ice dragon dragon can significantly slow enemies when it's in its radius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. But I only had that one available. All right. Archers. So what we want to do in this situation here is definitely checkerboard, but really sort of wide checkerboard. 
That way, they just can't possibly have any more than one melee unit engage with our units at a time. These guys here, they're going to be fairly useless. But if they could just hit the um, Razor on Hunting Pack, that's... Yeah, we'll see. This one over here, just shoot at Croxigors, if possible. And the Great Eagle, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Probably just um, annoy whatever you can. Bit of a high ground over here could help. But yeah, this one here might use up all of its ammo and still not kill off a Croxagore unit. Do I have to complete the vow before the chivalry threshold? No, you have to recruit the Lord before the, th uh, the chivalry threshold is met. You just have to recruit the Lord. You can complete their vow after you've you've done the um, the chivalry threshold. Seems like a good day for swooping. Let's see, draw them away. Do Star Chamber Slend recruit rank stack? Yep. Luring this one over here early is definitely good. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> oh well. Over here trying to catch our silver helms, that's good. Alright, you really need to focus on those Razor Dons because they have a lot of damage dealing potential. Okay, I gotta try to get over here, harass them just a bit more. Alright, focus fire on the Razor Dons. Don't worry about those Croxagors right now, it's not that big of a deal. If we can get rid of all of the uh, uh, Croxagors, then we can actually run away from this position. Start focusing on the Croxagors again. There, there we go. There's our opportunity to get the Skink Skirmishes, I think. Okay, we got rid of the Razor Dons, now get rid of those King Skirmishes, stay away from them. Oop, no, 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 stay away. Alright, 
Okay, Crocs are back. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Shit. Caught again. Damn it, didn't kill them fast enough. Come on, just run through it, run through it, run through it. Back. That's good. Get over here. Try to relieve them if possible. Run right, through, run through. Yeah, it would have been good if we got rid of those skink skirmishes, but unfortunately those crocsigors just made that not possible. Spearman. Don't worry about killing their lord that much. Actually, you know what? I got enough ammunition. Let's freaking go for him. Alright, you get back. Okay, he's starting to go down, that's good. That's good. Just need to stop them from coming over there. Come on, shoot him. Oh, there's more Crocs here, get rid of that. Doesn't look good, we're running low on ammo. Their lord's almost gone, but I'm really running on fumes now. Alright, you get in there, so I can pull this one out. Try to kill this fucking lord if possible. Come on, kill him. Broke him, but we haven't killed him yet. Come on, get out of it. Shit, you're out of ammo. Get in there. Okay, you try to distract them around a different way. There goes the last of our ammo. Alright, now, to try to stay in the fight as long as we can, just run. Our units are faster than theirs, just run from them. All we gotta watch out for now are the Croxigors. I don't know how we're gonna deal with that. But we gotta just, just fucking don't fight them. We can't possibly beat them in melee. That Croxigore over there is now our biggest concern. If you go and sweep on that one, you can break it. Bring this one up. Oh my god, I can't get rid of that one in melee. Yeah, speed 35 compared to their speed 31. Just keep running them away. Kind of lucky the army losses hasn't uh, come into effect yet. No, I need to get over here and sweep at this, or else we can't get away. Keep that one distracted. Good, just run. Run. Uh, actually, that direction there is not particularly safe. Okay, dead unit, come over here. Charge into that, and that'll likely get him. The yeah, the Croxigors there are gonna be the biggest concern, but let's see what we can do. Silver 
Definitely a disaster battle now. Fuck! Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Gotta pay attention. Took a bit of damage, but we got out of there without too much trouble, I think. Got that one, I think. Come on, move, 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 move. It will be done. We go. Okay, I need these two to come over here and try to harass this a bit. Oh, uh, hang on. Could you? How about you finish this one off? Broken. Good, broke it. Just feigning the charge there, and you just keep that Croxagore away from the infantry because I can't outrun them. With that last shot, that's for the Croxagores if we absolutely have to. Good. Okay, get over there. Take that one out. Didn't take any damage. Orders received. All right, how many infantry units are there left? Four. Okay. Them At least we got them distracted. It would also be good for our guys to get some rest. No, 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 no. I said save that for later. Fuck me. That's gonna cost me a lot. Oh, okay, I think I just screwed up there. To me, to me, things juggling at once. That's gonna cost me. That's gonna cost me. Ooh, that cost me a lot. Juggling too many things at once there. Yeah, uh, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's a, that's a big setback. Hang on. Stop swooping for a little bit. Try to guide this one over there. God damn it. Gotta pay more attention. We're, we're okay, we're okay. Not out yet. But that was not good. Oh god, we really can't take that much more damage. Loyal. At least when these ones get really badly damaged, we can just get the silver helms to come in and fix it. Finish the job. Love and seek on.
Okay. At least this one here has recovered all of its fatigue, that's good. That's another thing as well, tons of experience on these units. Okay, can't keep too much of an eye on that or else we get caught by those croxigors again. One's down to half strength. Mm. Yeah, can't just turn around to fight this just yet. Gotta keep swooping. Alright, a little bit easier to keep control of everything now that I can see everything in my screen without having to turn around. Legend of Swoops? Yeah. Yeah, there's no other way we could win this apart from swooping. And even then, I'm not sure. I think we might just have taken too much damage. But, at the very least, we'll wipe out a lot of their units. So that they can't progress any further. Okay, these are starting to go down really quickly now. That's good. Okay, maybe try to keep all the cavalry together. Okay, we, also, we need to make sure that... This Croxagore does not come over here. Alright, I'm gonna bring the cavalry over here because I think this one is... Oh no, it's still got 52 leadership. Just wait a little bit longer before we try to charge it. Because we want to make sure that if we charge into it, it breaks instantly. It's really important. We're getting close. Let them recover their fatigue. Still got tons of leadership. So just need to come over here, kill this one real quick, and then get out. Uh, back over there to keep that uh, Croxicore distracted. Yes, loyal. Love and Seagard. 
A little bit more. A little bit more. Maybe one or two more swoops. Alright, that should do it. It will be done. Good. Broke it without it doing any additional damage, I think. Right? Five, four, one, five. Good, good, good. Wiped it. Alright, that's one infantry. at that it is good all right you guys just don't recover get back over here shattered good now get back over here draw some of them away you don't bother resting just get over here and start swooping whatever's next try to retain as much balance of power as possible so we can get a as much as possible early army losses I'm done. Okay, well. That's a lot of work this one's going to do. So, currently done 11,000 damage. Wiped out a full unit. Let's like... Let's like go super swooper. See if you do it really efficiently you can kill them pretty quick with swooping it's just the timing's got to be perfect it all just comes with practice i remember the first time i discovered swooping it just took ages before i could like get it down consistently Alright, also the Croxagores, we need to make sure they chase after the cavalry. That's so important. So it's already taken out 20 of them. That's it. We got, listen, we got their attention. That's what we want. Hello, any advice on how to win siege battles for Womitu with Archer Army? Mm, you bring some artillery and um, shoot over the walls if possible. Aim for good targets. It all just comes with practice. Uh, you know, don't shoot at uh, things that are wasting your ammo. Just gotta keep probing them. Be diligent. You get it. All just comes with practice. Good. This keeps up, we'll win. Because we've got enough force here to melee the uh, the Croxagores to death, I think. Let me just. But yeah, we can't be wasting balance of power on Saurus Warriors.
quick hit, come on. This one's already lost a lot of its health. There. Almost down to half numbers. Ooh, that was lucky we didn't take any damage. Jeez. Landing makes my butt sore. Warhammer 3 is 10% off now. Yeah, 10% off cheese. 10% cheese removed. <laughs> and also 10% off IQ removed. But you know, 10% uh, okay. I mean, I, I think you should get it cheaper than that. If you look around, I think you can find a better deal. Do you need to try an Imric campaign on IE, please? A very dynamic campaign with plenty of enemies on each front. Very strong potential ally to northeast. Um, look, at this stage here, no. We'll see later down the track, but at the, on the current patch, definitely no. But you know, new patch is coming in about 11 days. Dying at a faster rate now because their entities have all taken a degree of damage. Yeah, time to break this one. Get this one over here. Because we broke the other one at 28 entities, I think it was. And it, like, instantly broke. It's not super tired, though. No, 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 no. Get that way. Oh, don't That's catch me! Insane. Good. Good. Another one dead. How much damage has it done? Uh, 17,000. It will be done! Moving out! So now, 27, okay. Oh, gave me a bit of a hit. Okay, time to get rid of them. Time to get rid of them. Let's go. These ones aren't spear ones, so the silver helm should be able to handle it reasonably well. But they actually got a hit on me. Good, they should break. Just a little bit more leadership and they're gone. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, alright, alright. So they're gone. And these ones here are now fresh. That's good. Alright, two more infantry left to go. Let the eagle have a little bit of a rest. Alright, that's it. Good. Gotta lure the Croxagors away again. Have just a little bit of rest. Okay, you go that way. You go this way. That's it. That's it. That's what you want to see. Lure them away. If these guys had any brains at all, they'd just send their Croxagors after the uh, infantry, because I can't outrun them. Alright, this one seems to be next. So that one there is already fairly damaged. Did I get hit? No, I didn't get hit. Okay. And 
here we go. This one's a spear one, so I gotta be a little bit more careful not to land. Okay, they've all recovered their fatigue as well. Fuck, I said don't land. <laughs> okay, we're okay, no damage done. It's okay if we land and no, no damage is done. Alright, we knocked off six. Okay, we need to do better. Are the Crocs going to be impossible? No, no, because we've got anti-large in the army. They're anti-infantry, so the cavalry will do okay. And we'll probably army loss them if we get rid of the uh, infantry. But yeah, that should be the last thing that we worry about. We've... Uh, you know, we've got a, about two full units. And Croxicles are not, like, the toughest units ever. Plus, I've still got a couple of arrows left. Good. Down by 20 now. Is it possible to sweep Gyro Bomber? No, definitely not. No. Okay, these guys are going to have to move. We're not going to be ready by then. And you guys are going to have to lure them over here. Basically, we want to make sure that the cavalry and the infantry are on opposite ends of the map. Twenty-one thousand damage done with the eagle now. Oh crap! Oops. Down by thirty. But they're getting close to half health in terms of their actual health, so they'll start dying a bit quicker soon. Because some of them are getting hit but just not dying. Isn't Eagle tier three? Uh I can't remember what tier eagles are, but I think they are tier three, yeah. Oh, no, 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 we got so, no, 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 come on, just a little bit more, Eagle, a little bit more, okay, we're okay, oh my god, we're okay, we're okay, jeez, we're so close, we're so close, that took, that cost me about 400 damage, I gotta be more careful, holy crap, we can't lose the Eagle yet, it needs to get through that other one as well, Oh 
I'm gonna scrap them down to half. Oh shit, which one are they going? Dabba Dabba Dada did a NZ2 super chat. Hope my dad can be as patient as you while driving. Okay, thanks for the chat. Moving out. Alright, what are we up to now? They're starting to die a lot quicker, because they're all damaged. Okay, let me start moving over to there. They start moving over to there. To go with them. We're almost done. We're almost done. They don't really have enough entities now to keep us pinned down if we accidentally land. Unless we land right in the middle of them, we should be okay. one of them remaining here. Okay, start bringing these ones over here because we're going to get ready to finish this one off. And there's just one more to go. And that one's already damaged. Ooh, oh, I got hit. Oh, shit. Two leadership. Oh, God. I don't know how we're going to get through the next one. some more experience that'd help a little bit with keeping it Shit. keeping it under control just wait not yet not yet not yet so we're down to 29 all right cavalry come over here it's time to uh, wrap this unit we've we've taken out enough of them They should be able to handle that, no problem now. Just one more sweep. Give me one more.
Okay, you guys gotta head back around over here. This side. Two fucking leadership left. And we got shot. Alright, now for the last one over here. What's the problem? Fatigue modifier, exhaustion. Alright, maybe, maybe it would be best to recover your fatigue a little bit. It says eight leadership. For the king. Okay, once again, gotta get these croxigors out of here. Silver Dead unit. Let's go. All right, just that one last unit of Saurus spears there. There's. If we can take that out without taking too much damage, then we should be okay. The other alternative is focus on the Croxigors now and just ignore this one. But I want to be able to army loss that one because I'm just not 100% sure we can actually overcome it at this stage. Keep moving that one up this way. I'm trying to get him to recover fatigue so that his leadership improves. Because, yeah, he's not. The Eagles very rarely die. What ends up happening is they um, rout when they get this da badly damaged. Especially on. Oh, what the fuck? You dipshit. <laughs> Why'd you go that way? Okay, I think I only lost a couple of them, but still, that wasn't good. Because, yeah, you can't swoop the Croxigors. That doesn't work. Alright, here we go. Here we go, last one. These guys here are... Okay, just don't worry about that. They're not detected at the moment. Still possible we can win this if we do lose the eagle, but I'm just not 100% sure, that's all. We're getting real close now. Good if I played some high off music, so I at least got a feeling for the balance of power. Still playing lizards. Fuck's your problem. Flanks exposed. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it! Yes! Oh god, that was scary. Oh god. Well, they're, they're pretty badly damaged though. The cavalry might be able to handle it. But it would definitely help if we thin them out a little bit more. Every single one of them that we kill makes a big difference. Imagine not having the eagle for this battle. Well then it would, we wouldn't win. I would have just probably auto resolved it if that was the case. But it's, uh, it's getting close. Getting real close. Good, they're almost down to half numbers, but they're definitely down below half health. Seems like we can only kill about two of them per swoop. Kills for the eagle. Yeah, 30,000 damage done. 
five left. I'm feeling good about this now. Even if the eagle does die, this unit here with one charge should be able to finish it off. If you do land, you don't want to just turn the opposite direction, you want to redirect them, turn around. Keep them moving at all times. Playing high off music now, giving me some hope. Must be close to even. We're good. How many's left? 30. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. That looked like we killed like three of them in that swoop. No, four. Not sure. Okay, down to 23. Guys, okay, come over here. One good charge will finish him off now. Twenty-one remaining. One more swoop. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. them. I was hoping the army losses would trigger, but it didn't. Alright, well, now we're going to deal with the Croxagores. Here we go. At least they're kind of tired. Let's lure them over here, and uh, just... No, actually, that last shot, I'll direct it as best I can. Here we go. So it's probably best if the Croxagore charges into the unit of lowest balance of power, the archers. Then we charge in the um, the Lothurn Sea Guard so they get a leadership buff, and then then we charge in the uh, the last unit, the uh, the cavalry. And then at the the very final one to charge in should be the eagle because we don't want them hitting the eagle. Um, and hopefully the eagle will just inflict enough damage to inflict the army losses here. So here we go. Now, we've only got one... Sh it's probably like one arrow left, but just wait till they get a little bit closer. So that they're a bit more accurate. <laughs> There's like one arrow. Okay, charge this one in. This one here just soaks up the charge. Swiftly, defending order. Acknowledge. Then they go in. Pull back. Understood. Advance. Oh god, I don't know if this is gonna work. And they charge in. Then this one charges in. And we just gotta hope that that's enough. Cycle charge the cavalry if possible. The Lothan Sea Guy are doing pretty well. It looks like we're winning. Feeling good about this. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that was a spicy fucking battle. So you got up charge defense, right? Yeah, be wary of things like the test charge defense. Um, the uh, the archers had no balance of power, so I just wanted them sorted. Entire army destroyed. Oh, except for the Croxagore. Okay, well. Remove their bombs. Here comes the crash, and the game saves, and we get through it. Popcorn became a member for six months. God will swoop. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Croak feels like a croak to me. Was that cro Oh, it's croak. Well, that just means when you wipe out, um... Just don't let them attach to an army. Alright, we knew that was going to happen. Drayson became member for 23 months. Victory swooped forever. No worries, dude. Thanks for the chat. Oh my god. More freaking dwarfs. <laughs> oh, they're actually... Oh! I thought they weren't at war with each other anymore. Good. Good, I guess. You following any of the recent poker chess cheating scandals? No. No, I don't follow that stuff. Who took Iron Rock? Celestial Storm. Rogue Army. I took it off Grimgore. I never had Iron Rock. Cool. Oh, tell me you can reach there. You yeah, okay, good. Triumph lies this way. Is that Croak? They must have very recently got him. Forward. Hmm. Well, I can reach this dude. But doing that might not be the best course of action because we need to get over here as quickly as possible. This guy's not really going to be doing anything. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Defender of the Asir. I await your orders. All right, and just start sending this guy up through here to Adventure help us. Um... Oh God. <laughs> no, or at least that's just gave slaves. Oh, okay, that yeah, they are still with each other. I right, must have just missed it. Oh god. This is getting out of hand over here with the dwarfs. Okay, let's have a look. Grumbrindle or So Grumbrindle's army is not as good as this one. That's us. They're they're ready for Okay, assault this guy. Finally you succeeded. Decent amount of damage on that as well, especially on the organ guns. That's good. Hopefully they don't come down this way, but I'm at this time I'm gonna have to do something about it. Alright. Elvin Archmage. Ready yourselves. A bulwark in Ulthwan's war. All right, all right. So at this rate here, we go to revolt in five turns. Now this character here is providing quite a lot of public order. So if I get rid of her, uh, that's not going to be good for public order. Uh, Keith Ferguson did a five dollar submission. Hey, I've been watching your channel for years, and you have not only improved my game but provided me with thousands of great content. Thanks. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. Rank 7 Skaven Slaves. Yeah, well, just because of all the experience bonuses they get. Alright, this one, just regular stance it to here. I might send you to Granite Massive, actually. Handmaiden of the Ever. My protection is yours. Handmaiden of Dawn's Hope. Easy prey. It'll be no contest at all. Okay, I fully expect to lose this settlement, so I'm just going to loot and occupy it, get some money, and just keep moving. Oh, 
Like I said, what we want to be doing is coming down here and tier 4 setup. Well, it's tier 5. We'll get it at tier 4. So that'll be really valuable to us. Even if it is unpleasant climate. At least it's not red. So yeah, over here, we've got a lot of public order followers on this one. Can it provide more? Well, we have to lift this siege here. We do have two dragons ready, which... Yeah. Well, I, I gotta lift this siege. That's a lot of um, warp grinders, and they tend to do really badly with them. How many minutes below is we at here? Okay, it's not so bad. Yeah, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I've been wanting to do a this is Total War campaign for a while. What faction in which game would you recommend for beginners? Yeah, for a beginner, this is Total War. Uh, probably play as Reichland in uh, Warhammer 3. Uh, because uh, it's it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, play as Reichland, Warhammer 3. Uh, on legendary difficulty. Should be... Yeah, should be easy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's probably the worst one you could do. Um, honestly, for a this is Total War campaign, try Ikit Claw. Or Snitch. Those two are ridiculously powerful. Oh yeah, we got seven breath attacks as well. Man, the dwarves are really pumping out a lot of armies. We're popping down menace belows any moment now. Good, that's not a bad location for it. Good, and take out the fire throwers. Oh shit, we got death runners coming in over here. Alright, I need the dragon back over this way to help her out. That'll buy us a little bit of time, but just a tiny little bit. Uh, you should be able to just charge in on those wolf fire throwers. Go. Good, we got the warp fires that throws over here. Good, got rid of them. Looking good here. Looking good. Asaurians for 
people are coming in over this way. Alright, aim for the warp fire throws because they dish out tons of damage to us. Wherever possible with your missile units, you want to aim for whatever's going to dish out the most damage to you, not necessarily the highest value unit. Oh, pushing triads. Oh, shit. God, there. Oh, units just absolutely roll over our spearmen. Our spearmen are useless. Look at that, just friggin' useless. This looks like a good breath attack time. Oh god, she's dying real quick. Get her out of there. Got the warp fire throwers are gone. Oh no, 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 not quite. Alright, I think we're okay. Then we've got this one. There we go, everyone. Army losses. Right, let's try to get rid of Queek so he doesn't get any experience. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, don't shoot it quick. Yeah, I think Quick's gonna leave the battlefield. But we should be okay just to just No, what are you doing? Shoot the fucking dragon. He's gonna get away. This is this is not good at running them down. A little bit more damage. Every hit counts. Dirty piece of crap. Oh well. Oh. If you were to guess right now, who do you think will end up becoming the rival superpower in the end game? Malekith would be my guess. Yeah, it usually is Malekith. Yeah. Then again, the Chaos Invasion's not too far away, which usually totally wrecks his ass. If he hasn't already conquered Ulthwan, which he hasn't. Yet. Alright. Alright, we should be able to just go and order resolve for a Look at the kills on this one here. I guess it was running down a lot of troops.
What would have been a better replacement for the spearmen then? Uh, more archers. Because at least they would have done some damage. Look at, look at this one here. 141 damage. Whereas all of the archers... Look how much damage they do. And what's the point in having a unit that just doesn't hold at all? Alright, give me the money. Their lives for coin. Yeah, it would have been good to not let him get any experience. What level is Quick up to now? 20. Oh, I guess he doesn't run out of that much. Alright, we should still just be able to resolve it because we've got the Super Dragon. Or I could come over. There's a full stack sitting at Valaya's Sorrow. Hi, Elven Archmage. Great. Poet's disciple. I wanted to disband this army, but there's another buddy green. I mean, it's probably damaged. Severely damaged. Letting Queek get away is not great. No, I blame you. You. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. We need the other two dragons over here, but if that army there is only at like half strength, hmm, hmm, and my money's not good. Looks like we're gonna have to run a negative economy again for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take out Master of High Magic. Queek. Yeah, I can't leave Queek there. No, I think we're gonna have to let Queek go and take this out over here. I need to go see what it is. I wield the wind. Yeah, it's really badly damaged. Very strong army. Uh, gonna need regiment for now. But if we just come over here and blow it up, that'd be good. I need the dragons for over here. Do you take me for a wazak? Of course. Shit. Hi, magic. Zog right off. Alt one's art me. Hmm. What what else we got? Omen of Assyrian could be good. Could dip around a hell of a lot. Oh my god, I don't want to do another swoop battle. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Alright, grab this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. I might just be able to auto that. Awesome. They'll suffer the might of suffering. Salt the land they tainted. Recruit new Lord Scout. Although it won't be able to move right away. Doesn't matter, we got through it. We got through it. Everything worked out there. Okay. And that freed up money for us to recruit over here. Cool. The Asser are troubled. High Elven Archmage. High Elven Archmage. Mm -hmm. Okay. God, I kind of feel like I just really need to leave a permanent army over here, but the supply lines. We had like two or three turns. <laughs> that has to be the area where I've recruited and disbanded armies the most. And then I've got this over High here, which we have a lot of green skins on the way. What do you require? Safari's servant. High Elven Archmage. Trained by the White Tower. Okay, what me, what might be good here is disbanding. Oh no, it'll cause a revolt here super quick. Dragon yeah, we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. Master of Magic. That one can't launch the attack here next turn. Alright, do we have any more enemies? No, no more enemies to deal with. I doubt that that one's going to attack Spike Pig. It's much more likely to go after 
uh, Misty Mountain. Let me have a look at which territories they own. They've already reoccupied Misty Mountain. How many settlements do they have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The worst thing would be is if they jumped over here. <laughs> yeah, that'd that'd really suck. Plan scheme is discordant. I await your orders. No, need my warp token stash. Scholar Supreme. If I can't reach it, it can't reach me. So why don't we do this? Go into ambush stance Magic here. Impurity. Try to lure it over here, because I do not want it jumping over the desolation of Nagash. The gods stand with me. Otherwise this would be a monumental waste of money. Dealing with this. Because if you ever look at the garrison there, it probably still hasn't recovered. It is mostly garbage though. No, Gracie, no. When sisters stack? I can't afford it. Can't afford it. The dragon shall wake. Another entrepreneur would be good to make a little bit more cash, for sure. That'll come in next turn. <laughs> I need money. Limitless talent. Another resistant one there, but I'd have to get rid of uh, this of scout. Uh, I'll get there within the next few turns. Uh, what else we got available? Okay. Alright, well we shouldn't go completely broke. Just yet. I guess one thing I could do, actually, is um, disband this bring lord, bring the lord form. over here, bring a new, another lord over here, and recruit some more, more units in global, but the problem is then I wouldn't be recruiting here. So... Hi, I just gotta make do. I just can't, I can't do anything else right now. I'm completely hamstrung by my economy. Quick's still probably strong enough that he could take on Black Iron Mine, but I don't care that much about the province apart from it just making a little bit of cash. I am taxing everything, right? No, don't tax that. Waste of money right now. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah, I won't be able to reach uh, Cursed Jungle next turn. This guy might set sail, actually. Well, we'll see. What if, what if this one makes its way down here? Because I think that this one might go to Libaris. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. What would you have of me? Myth Legendary did a $1 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. It looks like Alyssa has been destroyed. Good. God, this this one here is just not catching a break. Have you used influence to manipulate AI relations in this campaign? I don't really see the point. They're just gonna beeline for me all the time anyway. Good. It jumped over here. The power and the glory of Kalador bids you welcome. <laughs> I'd love to get out of this war, but I can't. <sighs> can't see what they did. There's no way we'll be able to fight that. Seek safety. Oh, God. At least I should be able to attack it and draw out the garrison.
Wyman 2 is so much easier. Bring Wyman 3 back, please. Way more fun. What are you talking about, man? You're deluding yourself if you think Warhammer 3 is easier than 2. Our tradition. Okay. Alright, this Krokgar is in really bad shape. What happened to that army over here? Right. Okay. And looking at Queek, he's in bad shape as well, so it could be possible for us to take this army and head to Granite Massif. Taking up residence. Time is of the essence. Start conquering over this way. Trained by the White Tower. Uh, Eradic Alien did a five euro super chat. Thanks for all the videos you provide. Nice dude, my pleasure. Thanks super chat. Magic All right, the garrison comes soul. out. Yeah, we definitely need you to assault Drum Brindle's army. Enemy. Good, succeeded a lot lately. Player. That's a lot of damage. Nicely done. What news? Nicely done. Master of magic, high yeah, elven. We need archer. those dragons for money. Going broke. I bring Azurian's fire. I decree death. All right, if they come over here and take the Doomglade, I don't care. We smashed up the province ever anyway. Handmaiden of Alaria, champion of the Evergreen. Okay, I don't think I need this one to scout anymore for us. We can save a little bit of money by disbanding it. We've got five turns until revolt. Light my path. If this one came over here, it could prevent the revolt. If I sort the... No, don't worry about that. I will not. Yeah, get over here. Ali! Oh, God. Don't cross wires. I think, I think in hindsight, it was a mistake to try to occupy this. Thing is, though, um, I wanted to stop them from constantly jumping over here. Yeah, I just don't have enough money. All right, let's have a look over here and see about getting a mage. Yeah, okay. I just I need the money. They will provide us with some cash. By the White Tower. Yeah, extra six hundred gold. I can't complain about that. I will not. Trained by the White Tower. Where now? All right, we got a full stack in here, and Hell's Mount Silver Spear. It is fully recovered. That's good. But this army here is quite strong. Uh, and the dragon units, we are not going to be able to disband them. However. Big They're gun. going to be passive, so I can waste the ammunition of the organ guns fairly easily. And then... Waste the ammunition of the quarrelers fairly easily. You know who I am. Master of I'd say just get one of these dragons. Just one. The... Yeah, we get... Get the black dragon. Weaver of spells. Archmage. Would abandoning desolation of Nagash cause revolts everywhere? Yeah. It'd be better to just lose the province outright than to um than to abandon it at this stage. Because they'll just ruin well anyway. Alright, well, we have to fight it manually. I knew that was going to be the case. Um, 
Just gotta get on and do it. Breakers. Yeah, but they're damaged. they're damaged. Okay. So what we want to do here, firstly, got to waste the organ gun ammo. We have to fully cheese this. I wouldn't have to cheese it so hard if uh, Grombrindle wasn't coming around the corner. But yeah, he is. So, got to cheese. Although he won't be able to launch the attack next turn, so we'll have some more time to prepare. You know, one turn. But if our army gets and garrison gets completely destroyed, then no amount of preparation is going to make a difference. Maybe destroy the walls in your safe regions for money? I don't really have any safe regions just yet. I don't think that's a good idea. And it won't provide me with instant money. Do you know what it'll provide me with money? Looting these guys. Just have to put up with it. Okay, I can see this sort of argument going on in the chat. It, at least it is on topic. <laughs> you know, which is a diff more difficult game, Warhammer 3 or Warhammer 2? Um, look, I don't think it really matters which way you, s you slice it. Like, if you're playing the, if you're playing Reichland in Warhammer 3, then you can definitely argue that Warhammer 3 is more challenging than Warhammer 2. But if you're playing High Elves, Dark Elves, or just about anything in between, um, Warhammer 3 is significantly easier than Warhammer 2, unless you don't know how to play Warhammer 3. That is. Um, but everyone's entitled to their opinion I think when it comes down to it just play the game that you want to play it is not definitively that Warhammer 3 is better than Warhammer 2 okay? it just isn't um, I really don't like this whole situation where people who just like Total War Warhammer 1, 2 or 3 are kind of pitted against each other at the moment where they're all, like, arguing about, no, Warhammer 3 is better. No, Warhammer 2 is better. It's like, just pick whichever one you like and play it. Who cares? I just don't understand why we have to get angry at each other because a sequel is or isn't better than the prequel. It's just, it's just fucking stupid. Words coming from your rage history at Warhammer 3. Well, if if that's the way you see it, then you weren't paying attention to what I was saying about Warhammer 3. You haven't been paying attention because yeah, like I'm not getting into this argument again. Just play play whichever game you find best. There's no point arguing it to each other about which one you think is best because honestly people are not going to change their mind based on keyboard warriors on the internet or whatever I say. You either agree or you disagree and it's fine. People just don't change their minds. I've played a lot of Warhammer 3 now. I've sort of made up my mind about it. Until a new patch comes out, I don't see me changing my mind about anything. Right, taking a bit of damage here.
Warhammer 1 is the OG and the best. Okay, we can all agree that that is horseshit. <laughs> War Warhammer 1 is actually the worst of Total War Warhammer. That can be universally regarded as a uh, horseshit. Oh, I wish I didn't have to do this. We get to heal the wizard. No, we don't have tons of winds of magic, and it's better to wait until the other single entities are damaged. It, it's fine. All right, fuck it. Just get back over here now. Oh no, they're shooting again. Okay, it's fine. I, like I'll heal the wizard when the other ones are damaged. Is this peak Warhammer 2 gameplay? No, this is not. Uh, this is done out of necessity because we are massively outpowered in an area. I have to win this battle with minimal casualties. I just have to, or else we're going to lose a lot of ground very quickly. So this was done out of necessity because of this Total War campaign. If it was a regular campaign, probably wouldn't even be fighting the dwarves because they actually like us. But we got Grom Brindle coming down here next. So if this army takes 90% you know, casualties in this battle, then we're not going to be able to handle Grom Brindle. We have to stay in good shape, he says, as his lord takes tons of damage. But that's okay, we can heal this. Yeah, I'm leaving. My job here is done. Mm, okay, well, you... Thanks for... Thanks for being annoying, then. See, this is what I was talking about. Warhammer 3 has completely shattered the unity of the t the Total War Warhammer fanbase. I didn't have to say anything, you know, to start an argument in the chat. All I did was read out its comment. Probably should have just ignored it. People are so bent out of shape about the situation, it's ridiculous. Alright, we'll do a little bit of swooping because dragons can swoop a lot more for a lot more damage than um, eagles. As soon as I do a breath attack, they will charge at us. You can hold back all those iron breakers. Um, mm, dragon. And dragon breaths. Slayers can be shot by archers, don't need to worry about that too much. Hey, Terra, how's it going, dude? Another four hours of swooping? No, no, no. There's no need for four hours. Just a little bit of swooping. I just gotta take him down a little bit. Uh, Chu George did a 25 D something super chat. Sorry, Legend, I believe the chat is at fault here. He is saying D 
doing a Total War campaign in Warhammer 3, not a regular diplomacy campaign. The issue was your fanboy flame. Anyone who has different opinion? Well, okay, fair enough. But I would also argue that it is not. I did it. This is a Total War campaign, etc. Right? And it was not particularly difficult. So I don't necessarily agree that this is Total War in Warhammer 3 is more difficult than Warhammer 2. And part of the problem here is that um, this community can't handle different opinions. It, it just can't handle it. I, I honestly don't care if somebody likes Warhammer 3 more than Warhammer 2 or thinks that Warhammer 3 is more difficult than Warhammer 2. I don't care. I can disagree with them, but um, I don't actually care. But for this community, my god, differences of opinion are heresy. And it's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, people are allowed to agree with um, opinions, for sure. Like, I wasn't mad at the guy for saying it. I just thought it was a, a ridiculous statement. Alright, I've already done a fair bit of damage. Yeah, I really don't need to be aiming for the Quarrelers. Uh, we've done a lot of damage, but not too many kills. I really need to be focusing on the Iron Breakers the most, because they're the ones that are going to give us the most stress due to extreme armor and shields. Come on, you'll be fine. Move. <laughs> Come on, they're just dwarfs. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Good thing I can heal him. Come on, there we go. There's a good boy. What a dipshit. Uh, look, I've said it bef once and I'll say it again, guys. When you... Um, harass and um, get all hot under the collar about difference of opinion, what you will eventually end up doing is force people like myself to just never give opinions, right? And then what you'll end up with is a bunch of YouTubers that will never be honest with you. Okay? So just be mindful of that. You need to allow for people, in fact you should encourage people that have different opinions to speak their mind, even if it's completely ridiculous, you know? Room 2 has the smartest AI of all new Total War game. Ridiculous, but you have to allow them to say it. This person has a disagreeable and incorrect opinion. Quick, get the pitchforks. They must be destroyed. No, you, you can't behave that way. And if you're thinking this community doesn't behave that way, you're ridiculous. They absolutely do. We've seen it happen many, many times. Why doesn't he use Dragon Breath? It's a good question. Um, the reason why I don't use Dragon Breath is because as soon as I do that, and I will, I will do, use the Dragon Breath, they'll start marching towards us. What we're doing here is swooping, getting a bit of damage, a bit of free damage to begin with, so that um, we can win the battle really well because we have to do another fucking one of these battles next turn. And I want to make sure I can actually win that as well. Because otherwise these dwarves are going to go straight into my heartland and, uh, and wreck my ass. We have to hold them back. Just a little bit more, then I'll use a breath attack. A little bit more. So if we look at this now, I've done 10,000 damage. We're only a few kills, because I'm spreading the damage out a fair bit.
dragon do splash damage? Yeah, it's doing splash damage. So we're we're hitting them, but we're not killing them with one hit. He's got tons of armor piercing. Uh, Chew George at a uh, 125 thing super chat. Thanks for your mods in chat flaming me, helping fellow viewers. It's been good year staying with you. These mods, goodbye, nice knowing you. Oh, fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. What a baby. What a fucking baby. Jesus Christ. You didn't get banned. You didn't get banned. Just being a baby. God damn, ridiculous. Can we just focus on the game? Why is it always gonna be people come in here and start arguments? Fucking ridiculous. What? Somebody is playing a game and not starting an argument? Well, I better get in there and then cause some discontent. Anyway, let's let's just move on from it because this is getting ridiculous. Alright, how are we going? Up to 14,000 damage. But I've only gotten 46 kills. <laughs> Emo swooping. Uh, I think we're we're okay here. I think we can. All right, time to it's time to use the breath attack and do this. We're in position, ready to go. Let's get on with it. Purse, Fenson did a 50 SEK sim chat. Come on, little dragon baby, no more swooping, it's time to fight. But mom, yeah. No, he's doing things in chat. Alright, now they're gonna start advancing. Alright, so it's now done 20,000 damage, so it's already done its worth, so that's good. A lot of damage done to the army. We should be able to take it out without too much difficulty. And we'll keep swooping it as they're advancing. And do more dragon breaths. Waka135 did a fight with jet. You have mentioned the bite and hold attitude earlier of this part of the campaign. Could you explain that idea for us while you're swooping? Yeah, it's the, it's the idea of you capturing a settlement and then fortifying it so that you can leave it um, without leaving an army behind. Typically speaking, that means very slow expansion, but very stable expansion. Um, in a this is total war campaign when you have enemy armies coming at you from all over the place You just can't be constantly recapturing tier 1 settlements and then just losing them again the next turn see I've had to use this garrison constantly 
over ever this just this live stream here uh, because we held on to it until it was fortified rather than having to keep going back and recapturing it thanks super chat appreciate it Right now, while they're while they're really blobbed up. Oh yeah, they were in a bit of a twelve situation. Basically, just deleted the iron breaker there. Nice. Yeah, the, <laughs> look how look how high tier the uh, the garrison is. Yeah. Okay. In position. Don't really need to check a board because they don't have any missile units. Uh, maybe a little bit. Dragon's now done 30,000 damage. Good, yeah, getting some of them to turn around now, that's great. This is what you want to see, you don't want them coming in in, in like one fort long formation. Having them spread out like this is great. They're really dicking around here. Okay. Get this long beard here to turn around. Nice. Same thing with this hammer up. Just keep getting them to turn around. Nice. They turn their back. And their shields count for nothing. Slow down. There's a speed limit here, boy. Stop shooting. Oh, whatever. Alright, we're gonna need to kill this lord, which is gonna do too much damage. Alright, this is where we want to start using magic. One over here, so it gets a bit of heals. Of the wind. I go for Good opportunity over here for a breath attack. Okay, Dragon's taking way too much damage there against those hammerers. That's not good. We kill him the Lord if we can. Over here would be the right spot this time. Do not share your Spell Carried by the wind. Uh, what are you doing? Dip shit, come on, move, 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 move. Probably a little bit of friendly fire there, but that's okay. Army losses shouldn't be too far off now.
There we go. Army losses. Cool, cool, cool. So that's why we had to put all that effort in. So the main army is in fairly good shape, and the uh, the garrison took a beating, but uh, it'll be, it'll be okay. We should be able to handle Grumbrindle now. The winds blow through me. Silver help. Okay, and we try to run down as much of them as possible. So I still got to finish them off. The most potent spells. Archers, quickly now! Does Garrison just lose their rank if they get wiped out? Yes, they do. Yeah. They go back to being you know, tier um, zero ranks. There's barely anything left of the uh, of this army, so we should be able to pursue and finish them off really easily. No, we're not gonna. Oh, hang on, I might just get enough magic. There we go, one more cast. And see, we ended up getting her back up to full health, and using up all of our ma available magic. Cool. Hello, Jim. Number three is Teclas still the strongest spellcaster in the game? I've heard he can get up to 140 wins of magic reserve. It's bugged, of course, but I assume they'll fix it one day. Uh, thanks to Tattoo, dude. But how dare you ask a question about Warhammer three? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, yeah, I would say he is the strongest spellcaster in Warhammer three because, um, well, you could argue it because he technically has unlimited wins of magic because. The Sword of Teclas has unlimited uses, and it regenerates Winds of Magic Assyrian reserves. Protects. So it doesn't really matter if his maximum Winds of Magic is 140. You can just keep generating magic over the course of the battle. Also, he's got Life Leeching, so if you cast a spell, you get 2.5 Winds of Magic back. So his spells are cheap. His Sword of Teclas is pretty good. So equipping a... Um, a uh, channeling staff on him can be really useful to reduce the cooldown on his um, sword of Teclas. Let's use. No, I wouldn't use the same item slot. I don't think. However, every single vampire account lord in the game can potentially get unlimited winds of magic because of the black periapt, because that can be used unlimited number of times and generates about nine winds of magic per use. So it just depends on how you want to look at it. Teclas is a really good spellcaster, but doesn't have lore of vampires, so it just depends on the situation. Alright, we're definitely going to need to take replenishment, because that'll also affect the garrison. Uh, actually, no, I want Perhaps that money. <laughs> Change my mind straight away. Two grand, I'll take that. There I must go. Why is it that some cavalry are really good at running down units while others are useless? I think it comes down to um, their weapon strength. So, for example, Illyrian Reavers are not going to be good at running down um, armored units because they just don't have any armor piercing. Another thing is mass. Units, uh, cavalry units that have a lot of mass are uh, running down units that have low mass. What they end up doing is just knocking them on the ground. High Elven Archmage. Be gone. Limitless talent. Yeah, okay. By All right, the finish that one tower. off. Now we need to fight this manually, regardless of what the order resolve says, because we can use this battle here to heal to full, and um, take this out with absolute ease. What about Kairos? How does he compare to the best casters? I haven't played Kairos, so I can't really. Um, I don't know about Kairos. I just, I just haven't played him in a really long time. And things have changed with him, so I just, I'm just not sure. 
I haven't touched Zinch since, um, since, like, early access. I just haven't touched it. I do definitely intend to go back to Zinch, but we'll see. So, yeah, I can only really comment on stuff that I've had a look at, and I just haven't had a look at that. Also, apparently, this ability in Wormer 3 allows you... It basically doesn't expire, so it does allow you to have unlimited wins of magic, apparently. Uh, if you had to pick, so if you had to choose, do you pick lower winds of magic cost or stronger spell damage? Oh, it depends. <laughs> depends on the situation, dude. Depends on the situation. Um. So if a spell is already fairly cheap and you've got li access to life leeching, it might be better to pick lower spell uh, cost. But if you've got a spell like Wind of Death, then you might actually want more spell damage. So it, just like with everything, you've got to weigh up the pros and cons of something like that because both are good, it just depends. Maybe going to encamp winning this battle so you can get keep recruiting. Mm, I don't think I need to recruit that much more to be honest. Drombrindle's army is uh, was no is weaker than what this one was, and it's already been assaulted. It's just that Grombrindle's a bit of a threat. Uh, this lord is now a little bit better, so she should be able to cast Earthblood a little bit cheaper. The garrison is damaged though. Plus, I do need to use my global recruit slots elsewhere. Sails. Asurian protects. Yeah, every coin counts. Perhaps their master values it. All right, cool. High Elven Archmage. Alright, if we stand right here, I don't think we'll come under attack. True magic Not gonna replenish to full, but that's okay. Oh, one thing that we could do... Rather than put a point into this, if I dedicate to... Vol... Oh, 30 extra gold! Permanently. As long as she survives. <laughs> dedicate to Vol. Hmm. What about, um... Was it Adioth? No. Mathlan, that's it. Yeah, Mathlan doesn't provide much. We don't have that many, um... Yeah. Shit, I need every coin I can get. I'm only gonna recruit locally. Hi, then we got over oh, here. Still got another dragon available. And we have... Like, that is a garbage fucking army. Truly garbage. Um... What else do we have to worry about elsewhere? 
Yeah, I think we did well enough that I don't need to have two dragons to deal with this, because this army is e easy. Yeah, it is a lot easier, especially if we're fighting a field battle. Warden of Sapari. But I, I'm worried now that this army here is going to, with a garbage army, just go and do something really annoying, so I kind of need to get rid of it. So let's grab that other dragon. And this should be enough to take it out. They cannot withstand high magic. Did you say you expected to reach critical mass at the end of the stream? Um, I'm getting pretty close to that. Once, once I've taken out uh, the Temple of Skulls, and Imric is coming back up this way, we will hit critical mass. We're very close. It might not seem like it, but we are very close to critical mass. Yeah, I'll take the replenishment. They can serve the tower. Ogres? No. No, we, we got through it. Alright. Well, I got no money coming in. We've got five turns until revolt here. Maybe a little bit more. That can buy me a bit more time as well. The Asa bids you welcome. Yeah, so that'll be there for a few turns. Uh, hmm. High Elven Archmage. Is there anything in here for untainted? No. Wait, wasn't there like an item that we had that was, uh... Let me just check. No, I must have been mistaken. I thought we had something that might have provided some untainted. Uh, how is the taint coming along? It's going... Oh, right, because the invocation of Isha just ended, so public order is going to get worse pretty quickly here. An archmage is accustomed to victory. The winds are rising. Yeah, we're a few turns away from getting to here. If we have a look at the Lizardmen, they are not going to be able to build an army in time. We've, we've got them. Handmaiden of Alara. I think. Handmaiden of the Everqueen. Protector of the Everqueen. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to disband this one here. As much as scouts are good. Anything on her? No. I'm gonna have another one attached for over here. The winds were Cause with us. cause we're fighting battles here constantly, I might as well just leave this um oh right. <laughs> I can't recruit it here. Uh I'd have to recruit it from here and oh uh, yeah, okay, maybe don't worry about it now. Um Time is of the essence. Ready for orders. I'll give it to her then. Defender of the Asir. Handmaiden of Alario. Nice. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Cohen did a five euro super share. Do you consider playing with the no minus summit battles mod? I know you hate mods. I uh, look, I'm thinking about it. I am considering it. We'll see, because yeah. I'm still reading all that feedback that's coming through, because there's a lot of feedback coming through from those polls. It's all very useful stuff. It's not consistent, though. There is a lot of feedback to be had. Um, but a big part of it is that people are sick of siege battles. I think the, th the two biggest complaints 
is that Warhammer 3 is too easy. I got so many comments saying Warhammer 3 is too easy. And they're sick of siege battles. So... Uh, no settlement battles probably won't change the difficulty of the campaign, but it will get rid of the siege battles. Yeah, you know that. That's good. Uh, so I'll think about it. I'll think about that. I decree death. I don't mind if they come over here capture that. I definitely want to get this dragon encounter sorted though. As soon as I get a decent amount of money, I'll recruit a lord here to go and... Mm. Alright, you. Since there's a lot of shit coming this way, you still need to stay here and try to replenish. And no need to recruit globally, but you do need to recruit locally. Do you read the comments too, or just the poll results? Actually, I stopped reading the poll results because... Look, after about 10,000 votes, it more or less doesn't change. We got a, we got a large enough sample size that it only it only fluctuates by like half a percentage now, um, so yeah I'm at the point of just reading comments because I've got a I've got a tab in YouTube Analytics where I just uh, hit comments and it just shows me all the comments that have done in like the last 24 hours so I just go through and just read read those rather than going to each individual video and poll that I posted I've done so I can read the most recent comments so yeah. St loads of comments still coming through. You know, a lot of comments about, like, the stream mood as well. And I understand that. That's something that I definitely want to address. I want the stream mood to improve. And I think there's... The only way we're going to improve the stream mood is if I stop reading out uh, contentious questions. And I get it. People want to discuss this stuff. But we've done it to death now. So, you know, I've heard the feedback. I'm definitely listening. I'm going to try to uh, apply it. I can't prevent people from starting arguments. I can't prevent it, um, but we can definitely reduce it. Uh, Dabble Dabble Data did a two dollars super chat. Stronger AI and no minor siege mod might fix it. Mm, well, we'll see, or maybe just give Warhammer Three a break. We'll see. Thanks, super chat. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? You know what? I will go and get that dragon encounter because what I'm thinking here is. Hang on. Okay, I don't use the incompetent one. If I... God, everyone's bloody incompetent. Oh, God, I got so many incompetent lords. Um, if I go and fight the dragon next turn, then I'll get loot money. Which will pay for whatever I'm doing this turn. Damn it, everyone is freaking incompetent. It's going to cost me a lot of money. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. oh, I didn't drop down the money by that much. It's just supply lines. Fucking hell. Oh, man. It absolutely blows. But yeah, I need someone to come down here and uh, to do that. We'll definitely get that money back next turn from the encounter. And then we'll have another dragon, which is really handy. Um, not going to invest in these two settlements yet. You can put a noble with followers in Nagashazar to boost order and untainted. Yep. Yep, you're absolutely right. Uh, I've got a follower on the way to N Nagashazar. It's on the way. I just don't think it's going to be able to make it there um, before the revolt, which is why this one's staying here. But yeah, you're absolutely right. He's on the way. And what about this over here? You have my attention. I need you to keep securing more influence. Wait, hang on a sec. True this guy, he's conscientious, but he does have uh, public order followers. I might be able to get him some more when he gets there. Mm. What news? Yeah, just keep secure. If that causes an earthquake, that could be a problem. Their life is good. All right. Our cause is noble. All right. I shouldn't build unless there's something that we absolutely critically need. Leave that for now. And what happened to Queek? Don't know. Just have to deal with it. 
Okay, okay, how are these? Yeah, we should grab this for additional public order. In fact, if I do that... You have global recruitment on nobles? What do you mean, global recruitment? Noble. What are you talking about? Oh, right, 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 I see. I can recruit a new noble there. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. Um, nobles don't... Um, oh, yeah, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. I see, uh, okay, I'm seeing what you mean. Okay, yes, I understand exactly what you mean now. I can get rid of this lord then. Right, I got you, I got you covered. That, that really good idea. Took a little bit to think of it. So we recruit just a shit noble over here. Yep, this is fine. What do you require? Then, what's our buffer? Eight public order. Okay. Then we put in... That's six public order there. We are Amount of money. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to be in the red next turn now. Um... Noble son of Ulthuan. I bring Azurian's fire. You're gonna have to gonna cancel those recruits, unfortunately. They just can't afford it. Okay. We'll be able to maintain public order that way. Good good idea, good thinking. Yeah, really good idea there. That saved a supply line. Okay, let's move on to the next time. Anything we gotta do? Nope. Yeah, good thinking, dude. Go sit in the settlement. Sit in the settlement. Sit in the settlement. Nah, they're running away. Oh, for fuck's sake. They, This handmaiden here can't catch a break. She's been trying to catch up to Imric for such a long time. that When Imric comes back around this way, she can attach. You'll get two more public order when I drop below 75. Yes, I will, but in five turns, that um, right will expire. They're going for Karakazul, not, not that one. One turn of hand then. Hell, I can't be going back to deal with it. Alright, alright, alright. So, this one. Quickly just come over here. Supreme. Oh, does this work? Seeking a trial. Does does this shit Led still work? By the wind. <laughs> it's curious. How many times will we get this now? So yeah, ritual of war. The ultimate test. Oh, it still works. <laughs> it still works. Oh, that's ridiculous. I can't believe they didn't fix this. Oh my god. Too bad this one here sucks, except for influence, but I don't really want to pay 2,000 for 70 influence. I've got the money, I guess. <laughs> I desire your ancient influence. And then just let it go. Destiny has other plans. They ran out of movement. I have money, I mean. <laughs> A couple of that still works. Oh god, this pain. Yeah, like it's still minus one public order. So, we, we got a bit of time, but we're gonna have to Brave do something about son it. Of Ulfwan. A noble and worthy cause. The dragon shall Two public order, three untainted from an item. Brave Let me just check. Are you sure? Uh, 
I don't know about that, dude. I don't think I do. Unless I'm looking over it, um... Oh, look at this. Armor plus two. Am I blind? I don't see anything here for public order. It's armor, is it? Not equipable on heroes. Let me have a look. I do not have an armor that does that. Is one of Emmerich's legendary items? No, but... No. He doesn't have Crown of Command. Crown of Command doesn't provide public order, unless you've got a mod. So they're going to take the Doomblade, whatever. Okay, let's hit the Cursed Jungle. No, this is a quest battle first. Special Dragon. So this is the Star Dragon. No, Sun Dragon. There we go. This is Dragon number four. Oh, come on. Oh, no. We're going to be useless against that. Well, Imric's the only... Well, okay, so if Imric fights that, they'll be useless against him as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God, Arcane finishes as well. Shit. Okay, whatever. Will the settlement upgrade add public order? No, that doesn't happen with High Elves. No, that's um, the Empire, Bretonia, and I think Lizardmen. Okay. This was not fun with your sister's Evelyn stack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Well, like they don't have that. Unfortunately, I I've got the Invocation of Vol on at the moment. So I've got flaming attacks on my entire army. So that's very detrimental. Ready and able. Outward mage. The only thing I can think to do about the uh, the Griffins, Griffins, Phoenixes, is to ignore them, or just have Imric fight them, because at least he does lower their um, flame resistance by a bit. Plus, Ashen Field should be active. Mm, and we'll see. Without fail. Loyal. We will obey. Archers. Eagle Claw. Acknowledged. As you say, it shall be done. All right. Let's see how this goes. Direct me. All right, Imrig's gotta take out these uh, phoenixes. If we have a look at it, does they have the ashen fields? Yeah, they do. So their fire resistance has been reduced to fifty percent. Behold the majestic. Yeah, okay, he actually does a decent amount of damage to them. Alright, that's good. On the other note as well, our army does have an extreme amount of fire resistance, so they're not going to do that much damage to us either. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, look at that. He's, he's taking it down. He's taking it down. He's taking it down. Okay. What if I place a winter measure? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, he got empowered or something. Dragon can actually be reborn. Alright, Imrig should be able to take this out, no problem. Here, grab this and this, and that again. This one's flame resistance is 60%, yeah, so yeah, she's fine. Imrik's taking next to no damage because of all the fire resistance he's got. Son of the king. <laughs> oh god, the attack's really hurting us here. Oh, they're, they're, they're taking out that arcane piece. We gotta be careful though, because they can explode and kill your characters. So, probably best to route it as opposed to kill it. The rest of their armor is not that big of a deal. It'd be so much easier if we didn't have <laughs> the invocation of all going on at the moment. So much easier. <laughs> Might as well, we're already doing flaming attack. Might as well give them more damage. He's almost done. Hopefully he doesn't uh, revive, because that'll be a pain. Yeah. yeah, land and get rid of these sepulchral stalkers first. I know they're anti-large, but they're not going to be able to beat him, Rick, because... Okay, looks like the army losses were just triggered. Oh, we're still going to take this out. Again. 
And again. The enemy are driven off, my lord. Guaranteed revived you the bug of the game. Uh, isn't that only in Warhammer 3? That reinforcements come from Barge Army? No, I don't think so. Oh, excuse me. God damn it. Oh, that one's tough because overcoming that fire resistance is such a pain, but I got through it. Should get a fair bit of loot from all that. Yeah, I yeah, need cash. Cool. Uh, enables flamey attacks for all armies. Is not good. At all. But whatever. Hmm. Don't know if that's a good item. Alright. And then we've got to get down over here. Uh, getting this resource built up will be good for the technology that increases our replenishment rate by 5%. It'll be no contest good. And yeah, occupy this. I do expect to lose the Cursed Jungle, but I don't want to take public order penalties just right now. Alright, I need you to scout ahead a little bit. Advancing. Alright, I really don't think Skaven are going to be there. But we should be very careful. So what I'll do is... Go over here Defender and ambush stance. And we can still reach there next turn anyway. So that's good. Sorry, I just got here. This is one minute, sorry. That's okay. Noble son of Ulthuan. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And you just scored Immortality, Emollient. Nice. You can't die now. Order must be maintained. Mm. True magic. True magic guides me. Zaglav, the most gifted. Mm. Weaver of spells. Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle situation here, so what I want is to try to split up their forces. Have one army chase me down here, and another one go to Karakazor. I'm going to need to recruit another fucking lord. Um, Grom Brindle's here. Luckily, we keep able to be uh, attacked by our garrison, so... And then this one here can be disbanded. And we now have access to the, uh, the, um, the Sun Dragon, so that's good. Archmage. Please order resolve. Please order resolve. Order resolve. Yes. Cool. <laughs> All right. They cannot withstand high. Magic. There you go. See, if we didn't cheese the previous battle, I would have had to have fought this battle manually. Look how close it was. They may live for a price. All right. Hopefully, the dwarfs will leave me alone for another two turns. <laughs> Need to free up money. Need to free up money here. So that I can throw it over here. Skin threat is implacable. Uh, yeah, we don't make much money from here anyway. Master of high magic. And then, yeah, once again, get another dragon. And we're going to need oh, all the regiments of renown that we can possibly get. Which is not much left. The don't worry about the ogres. Us. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so we look at this at the moment. We've got four... Uh, eight, 18 units. Okay, now we need this one to come at us over here. So what I need to do is just be standing close enough that they can just reach me, but not close enough that they can actually reach Spite Peak. So I reckon standing there should be sufficient. How's the garrison at Spike Peak? Yeah, it's fine. Trained by the White Tower. Uh, don't be an ambush dance. Need, need them Texas. to actually see me. The Maiden's Benediction. Gifted advisor. 
I don't think any of that's actually going to be recruited. And... Yeah, okay, I don't think the stuff here is going to be recruited. Instead, use global recruitment here, which will just get cancelled anyway as soon as they besiege it. And you go local. Why not fight it? Uh, because we wouldn't wipe them out, so I'd have to pursue them. It would take, like, half an hour, and I was going to disband that army anyway. So, and the garrison will recover, so it's fine. It's, it saves a lot of time. You, sometimes you got to pick your battles. Finding every single battle manually will just create campaign fatigue. The winds are rising. Okay. So, all of that seems okay for now. Now for our march down to the Temple of Skulls. Yep, get rid of this and keep that for this turn, but get rid of that one. So that means there's one more dragon we have left to get. Just one. Which won't happen today, obviously. Well, yeah, we're sitting on 25 settlements. For turn 82 is garbage for a regular campaign. But in this Total War campaign, that's okay. Because, yeah, if Imrek manages to secure all of this... Do you know what we would do, actually? Go down here, capture Temple of Skulls, and then recruit another Lord to go sort that out so Imrek can just come back up that way. You take the Temple of uh, the, the Serpent uh, Coast and then just disband it. But, yeah, I need him to go down here and then back up this way and then move over there. Because once we secure all of this, I mean, the Skaven can still jump over here, but this one here is going to try to prevent it. Alright, what else are we doing? All good. Let's move on to the next turn. Put another shit noble in the gash, though. You can forget about it. Money's tight right now, so that's something that we have to pay for. I'm okay with them recapturing it. That's why we left it, um, left it damaged. My Worth absolutely nothing to us. Hopefully they blow it up. Oh, they just sack it. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Maybe they sack and occupy it. Nope, they just sack it. Cool. That buys us time. That's honestly the best case scenario because them doing that means that that, that Krokgar is not on his way to the Cursed Jungle next turn because he'll be um, wanting to occupy the Doom Glade or blow it up or whatever. It gives it just gives me more time to wreck him. Okay, cool. They took the bait. That's what we wanted them to do. They were never going to send two armies down here. Then we withdraw. Another time, villain. They might attack us still. They might. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Oh, they still attack. Well, hang on. Let's see how this goes. This might actually end up backfiring. Uh, it's, it's Valiant Defeat, and we do have a dragon. So... You know, can't withdraw again, but we... It's not the most dangerous army ever. Birds are chirping. In before Rite of Primeval Glory? Yeah, that'll suck. Only lies on a bottle of shit to a 2 euro super jet. You think there should be a toggle for flame attack? Hmm... I don't know, man. I don't know. That would definitely help, because flaming attack can be so hit and miss. It's definitely not a straight-up benefit. So yeah, we split up their forces, so now we've actually got a chance of taking them out. So another thing that we might be able to do here is, next turn, this army, assuming it survives, uh, might be able to force march to the other one, although I think it, it won't have enough movement. We'll just see. But I think I can sally out against the other one, or at least just... Yeah, we'll see. Alright, we need to... Need to get over here. I need you to harass. I need you to stay here. Uh, maybe just grab a quick heal. There we go. 
great dragon. As you say. Understood. Assyrian willing. We advance. Harass as well. Mm, that was not a good breath attack, but luckily we got six more. And it's time to harass. Harass, harass, harass. So, with the artillery constantly shooting at the dragon, actually have the um, have this one come over here, get shot instead. Okay, they're going to start shooting at these two over here. So spread them out. Need to get at that artillery. Here, you go harass that over there. Ready for a breath attack? Hopefully, it'd be an actual good one this time would be nice. Come on, nice big blob there. Do it. Yeah, it's, it's getting kills. We're working out all right over there. Taking out the grudge throwers. Uh, grudge throwers. Not too bad. Rock lobbers is good. And this is exactly what we want. See how their armies all spread out everywhere? This is exactly what we want to see here. These units are just going to come in and get shredded. That's okay if this one here gets hit. Soaked up the charge a little bit so that the pit spinning didn't get too badly damaged. Good. Artillery is getting wrecked. This one's annoying them. Good. Get ready for another heal. Okay, board chariot. Oh shit, I need to check a board a little bit because they're probably going to attack us on this flank a bit. Alright, you can, you can hit that. It's easy. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. I want to use the breath attack, but I also don't want this one here hitting my troops, which we prevented that. That's good. That looked like a pretty nice breath attack. I'm happy with that. Oh, I think they had a twirly whirly. The f God, silver helms losing to night goblins, archers. That is, jeez. It's all right. Once again, spearmen doing freaking nothing. Me. 
Yeah, the worst of this battle is definitely over. Uh, Warrior4356 said if I was sure, any tips on winning in the forest with a gunpowder and artillery army? Um, don't go into the forest with a gunpowder and artillery army. You will probably lose. Your, your bullets and stuff are just going to hit trees. And there we go, we won. I made the mistake of doing that as Noculus and I was trying to figure out if there's anything I was missing. Yeah, look, if you've if you've got a really heavily forested map and you put your guns in there, they're just not gonna shoot. They're not gonna shoot well. They're just not. Um your artillery, putting them in a forest, they're just gonna hit trees. Um you need to avoid that kind of shit as much as you possibly can. Okay. Yeah, I need to take out those black orcs. Did you like the melee changes on harder difficulties in Wormer 3? Do you miss it now playing Wormer 3? Uh, 2? Um, it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really bother me one way or another. Heal the Eagle? Well, the Eagle's not going to be in the next fight. With them. Um, but yeah, actually. Bad idea. Destructible forests would be amazing. Yeah, they really should have made it so that artillery shots would destroy trees. It kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense seeing a big ass cannonball um, just bounce off a tree as if it was made out of titanium. They may live for a price. And that's not a full stack there either, so that's good. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I might be able to catch it, maybe. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here. So the dragon's rage. Just, yeah, Force March should be fine. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Cool. Crocar won't be able to make it to the Cursed Jungle next turn. He'll probably do something about the, the Doom Glade. We can get to Granite Massive. Yeah. How about you? Forward. Search the ruin. 
rather than attach to the army for the. Oh, okay, there's a bit here, a bit more than I thought. Stupid. We stand ready for action. This is actually the first time this army is going to see battle apart from that over here, which is still active. So that was a few turns ago, five turns ago. Right, so we're going to lose 10% uh, income from all regions. We need to fix our money up. All right, go for that. Mini. And it would definitely be best to fight this manually so that... Oh my god, I don't have a choice. I have to fight manually. Um, how many menace blows are we looking at here? Three. Come on, choke point battle. Choke point battle. Yes! Okay. Awesome. Worst thing about this battle is having to deal with um, the menace blows, but choke point battle here is going to be great for us. Do you know you can still perform an action with the hero after discovering Skaven cities? Oh, really? Hmm, didn't know that. I don't know what I would do with, with the uh, Handmaiden, but that is interesting to know. Oh, I, I might be able to test that out. Oh. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, and we've got time to move up because their army is not going to be in position in time. Go snipe that hero over there. Asur, advance. Eagle Claw. It shall be done. For duty. All right, actually. We go. Be careful because okay, we need to put two units in the rear because of the menace belows. Understood. A pace. Champion of order. <laughs> Excuse me. Hand maiden of the Ever Queen. Devoted servant. Loyal. Orders received. Okay, it's Orders coming in from over here. Go ahead, turn around. Quickly now. Loyal. We will obey. The duty. Quickly now. Forward. Hand maiden of Alaria. Archers. Good thing they don't have warp bomb. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay, one down. Quite a few more to go. Oh, menace below coming in from here. That's good. Good, kill the enemy lord. So that, for one thing, no more spell casting for them, and also lower their leadership. Just far out the ground, right there. Come on, get him. He's only got a little bit of health left. Get him. Yeah, leadership dropped. Nice. Got him. Good. That's going to hurt their leadership a fair bit. All right. There should be one more menace below popping down any moment. Hopefully they pop down over here. Oh yeah. You need to get rid of death runners. They're a big problem. Yep. That's fine. Bad timing. We will obey. Everything's looking pretty good here. As you said, you doing? Moving out. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. For duty. You need to stay there and keep fighting. Uh, what fire thrower? Get rid of that. That will be a massive pain in the ass. Okay, get out of there before you get wiped out. And you get back in there. You get out before you die. The resistant handmaiden is really helping keeping them. 
ones that are in melee from routing uh, and um, you know, dying. It will be done. Ancestors to the fray. Senui, loyal. Understood. We will obey. Eagle Claw, understood. Draw back. It shall be done. So they can actually kind of just warp lightning themselves. There. And there's the army losses, cool. Alright, they're not uh, completely wiped out because that wasn't the actual siege battle. This will probably end up being a close victory, but I'm pretty happy with that. Should we kill as many of them as possible? Oh, heroic victory! Wow, she's looking at us that hard by that much. Well, that'll be good for our experience. Try doing a action on the escape and settlement with Handmaiden. I don't think there is a good um, action for them. Put them in fetters. Destruction. Ugh, I failed. All right, let's have a look. Handmaiden of Alario. Mm, I don't want to waste 500 gold. Uh, I believe you. I believe you. But uh, we'll see how we go with it. Oh, that actually might be better to begin with. Yeah. We stand ready for action. Really shouldn't have. Oh yeah. I mean, if you get wounded, you're dead anyway. Uh, poison attacks, I suppose, is better than nothing. Princess of Althran. What would you have of me? Got to fight it manually again, which means more menace belows. Uh, I guess it's not that big of a deal if these ones here get wiped out, although medium casualties. Pyrrhic victory. We should try to get a better victory than that. see here so I think what I should do is just immediately withdraw this one here from the battlefield so that it doesn't get right put these ones up front and put these ones here in the rear Just wait for the minutes blows and then to show up. Archers, ancestors, understood. Archers, guide 
Guide my bow. Orders understood. Beloved, we advance. Asser, advance. Asser, advance. Princess of Altwan. Eagle Claws. Kill them. Champion of Order. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Archers. Oh, that's inconvenient. Uh, but I didn't do any damage, or didn't do much damage, that's okay. So I got my guy over here, uh, just in case they put down the menace below on top of it. Careful, definitely don't want these two here dying. Cool, we got this. This is over. All right, you can come in as well. Yeah, there we go. That was easy. For the Asser. And yeah. We bring right. order. Rats make poor foemen. <sighs> bad plan scheme. Well, our money's actually not too bad, everything considered, because we've got active at the moment four supply lines, and this we one here just gained a fair bit of experience, action. which is nice. Taking ground away from Clan Moors and the last defenders. High Elven Archmage. Good, we actually reached this. Strike the that should be an order resolve win. Yep. They cannot withstand. Good order resolve win. Magic. Nice. Yeah, need money. Lives Might actually be able to disband it, or we could push on to Dringokras, maybe. So I think we're in the clear for a little bit out here. Adventure awaits. Not magic able to make it to here. Form. Master of high magic. All right, let's Pure. see here. Come on, auto resolve win. Auto resolve win. <sighs> They'll suffer the <laughs> might of suffering. All preparation was made Perhaps correctly. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. And the Greenskins will probably send another army over here fairly soon. I can tell they've got, yeah, a lot of military presence. So, we have not seen the last of them. On to adventure. Wurzag, great. The Vortex calls. We are pure of heart. Archmage. Hmm, what do I do here? Can't just leave these armies here. Because they're costing a fortune. Yeah, just let them go. I was thinking about going and capturing this, but... 
I don't think ultimately it's going to do much. Limitless there you go. And there you go. That saves us a lot of cash. That's the most income I've had in this entire campaign so far. And you've got to level up. Ready for orders. Those quick armies look like a problem. Yeah, they're full of Skaven slaves, so we can we can deal with that later. Um, plus, we got defenses put up here, so it's probably not really going to be that difficult. Think the tide again. All right, let's build some stuff and move on. This is good. With this at rank four, tier four, we can increase our capacity for particular heroes. We need more um, handmaidens, and we need more wizards. And you know what? I don't think we need this anymore. Master of High ma All right, I guess we're just saving up a fair. Oh, yeah, don't build that. I think I've got another administrator. High Elven Archmage. Yeah, those two settlements there are still unsure about. Archmage. Okay, and let's move on. Getting court advisors would be good. There's nothing else in here that we really need, so I guess so. Upholders of order is rubbish, but there's some stuff in there. Alright, let's move on. Uh, let me just see if there's any new enemies. Nope. Cool. Jar Jar did a THB 100 super chat. Hi, Legend. Have you ever been nuked by a Doom Rocket? If yes, when was the best for the AI that you wouldn't forget? Ah, oh, dude. I've been nuked plenty of times. But nothing like what Mercy the Mad got nuked. Nothing like that. I've never been nuked that bad. Like, at worst, they've wiped out one or even two of my units. Cool, they blew it up. Used up all their movement. Yeah, and anytime it's happened to me, I just forget about it. So, I wouldn't know when to send you to go and have a look. If you want to watch somebody get nuked like crazy, watch the Mercy the Mad video. Thanks for the chat, appreciate you. And losses so far? A fair few. About like 15 losses. None of them critical, apart from getting kicked out of both one, which we had no chance of holding that. <laughs> oh, god. oh my god. It's like every two turns. We've got enough money that we could probably keep an army going there permanently. And that's fine. Oh my god, that army. The, the garrison there just has so much to deal with. Oh, our uh, Fekun dude here, so maybe he can help. Maybe. So. Alright, they shouldn't be able to launch an attack from from there. If we have a look at the garrison, it has not recovered yet, so that's bad. Standing and you by. can't make it over there, so that's also bad. And the army is not the strongest thing ever, but we got money. I don't think I've got any Regiment of Renowns available, and I don't think any dragons are available. You may look but, upon um, it should be fine. And now that we've taken Stop. Temple of Skulls... Let us wake the dragons. Which is one of the goals that I wanted to have here for the stream. I'm gonna call it a day. Mm, yeah, just, I oh, claim it for Calidor. 
All right, guys, we're gonna call that a day. I'm exhausted. I need to go get some rest. Uh, I'm not gonna be live streaming tomorrow. I need I need a day off, uh, which is normally my day off is Friday anyway. Um, but anyway, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and uh, I will see you guys another time. All right, I doubt anyone's streaming Warhammer two, so we'll see who's streaming Warhammer three. Alright, we'll chuck the host over to uh, Mercy the Mad, who I was just talking about. Uh, check out one of his fairly recent videos, maybe like a month or two old, where he got so badly nuked by the uh, by Clan Scryer, because he blobbed up all of his infantry, and then he just got nuked. It, it wiped the whole bloody thing out. I think he still ended up winning the battle, though. Alright, uh, hang on a second. Let me just get the link. Alright, appreciate the support today. I think this was a better stream. We, I really tried hard to um, to to not get you know off topic or anything like that. It's probably going to keep happening a fair bit, but I'll do my best uh, to um, just focus on the game, whatever the game may be that we're playing. Um, because yeah, I, I have listened to your feedback. I'm going to take and try to incorporate as much of it as I can, but a lot of this is very difficult. But uh, I'll do the best I can. Um, Yep, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.